football fanáticos, Moroccan Schultz here, and we just watched Argentina punish that French ass. Mm. We're going to talk about why Messi's the motherfucking goat, why Ronaldo will be absolutely forgotten after he retires. Right. And of course, we're going to talk about our little 36-hour trip to Morocco. You're going to see a lot of stuff like this. Okay, but before we get to that, let's talk about it. Ronaldo forgotten, Messi guaranteed goat. Do we agree? All right, I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, Wait. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Who, is, who is Ronaldo? I'm talking about know. football or soccer. Which no, 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 we're soccer. talking about it's called football, Al. I'm the oh, greatest bro. football no, journalist we're in history. Now. It's football. We're Moro Moroccan people refer to the game fo as football. Okay, so just, okay? just today. As the greatest football journalist in history, I just have to say that now that Messi has won a World Cup. I don't even think Ronaldo's in the same league. I don't even like, think I mean, like I don't even think he's top two. I think it's Messi, Mbappe, Ronaldo. Honestly, I, I don't even think Mbappe is there. Whoa. whoa, whoa Mbappe whoa, whoa, had a good whoa, whoa, hey, listen. Come on, son. Come on, bro. I don't think Mbappe's in the final at 23 years old, 24 years old. Ah, was it a hat trick? Yes. <laughs> yes. Literally. <laughs> I do kind of agree. Hey, 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 I do yes. kind of was agree. Was it a hat trick? trick like when you really do I you do count penalty kick hat tricks? Do you count I Messi's kind of goal? Agree. Say again? You count Messi's goal? Did I say he had a hat trick? You said he scored, he said he's a goat. He but I didn't say he had a hat trick. Alright, if we don't count penalties as goals, Messi didn't even score, bro. If we don't count penalties as goals, Ronaldo's not even in the conversation. Thank you for proving my point. It's kind Ronaldo. Of true. Penaldo. Penaldo is what we really should call him. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, I was watching a lot of highlights on YouTube, Mark. Yeah. What do you mm. think about soccer in general, bro? First of all, it's the world's game. <laughs> let really? me tell you something. Let, actually, let me make an actual point. Let me not be sarcastic for one moment and make an actual point. The greatest athlete of all time, if not a sprinter, if we're talking about actual sport athlete, Mm -hmm. If not a sprinter, competitive, competitive sport, sport yeah. has to be a football player. Come on. I, let me explain why. Moroccan Hold on, football? I might know where you're going with this. Go ahead. Are we talking Moroccan football? We're or? talking about Moroccan football. Moroccan football. Nice. AKA soccer, Moroccan football. So but right now, we're jalebered up. What's so happening to you? We're jalebered up. Are, Are we, we not Moroccan? Is it simply. Are you not African? I'm, Are you not claiming African once yeah, again? Yeah, he's African American still today. New York. Bro. Damn, you really are, bro. Shit. <laughs> I'm still we New York. We tried to take you back to the motherland. You rejected the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Switch to me, Miles. We'll get to that later. <laughs> my point is, uh, my point is, you cannot be the, considered the greatest athlete of, in all of humanity. <laughs> If you do not play the sport that all of humanity plays. Yeah, just then most people play it. Exactly. So Michael I, Phelps, I, I, uh, yeah. my argument for why he's not the greatest athlete, he's just the greatest tall guy that had a pool. <laughs> he's not the greatest athlete. Make him do anything else. He's yeah. a goofy. Yeah. He is. Yeah, there's there's greatest there. swimmer of all time. What does that mean? It means you're good at swimming. That's it. <laughs> like, you know how many people have never been born near water, don't know how to swim? Try my hardest not to look left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, Who doesn't know how to swim culturally? Most Cultures don't know how to swim. I don't know if that's true. Mark? That's not true. Most cultures do not know how to swim. It's just most not part of the culture. They're not taking you swim lessons. Yeah. No. Most cultures? Swimming is a luxury. Most cultures do not know how to swim. You think a Finnish knows how to swim, bro? Yeah. No, I do uh, think they know how to swim. No. Finnish. Wim Hof, he's in the water at yeah. zero degrees, bro. Yeah. He's Scandinavian. He's in a mountain, bro. Yeah, he's Scandinavian. He loves the water. He's going to yeah, go in no matter what. Yeah, but he's in an ice bath. He's yeah, not Yeah, but all them ice yeah, baths. That's a bad example. They're not going over eight feet in ice. <laughs> they not they not trying to do that. Do they do their little buckets? But they are not willing to go to the deep end. Little ALS challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water. real. I, I uh, when I ice bucket, I go deep end. Mm. A what? I do deep end <laughs> ice bath challenge for real. Because <laughs> if, if it's a problem, you freeze in there, you die. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. next level stakes. That's you true. can't just call your wife to have her pull you out of your bathtub. Yeah, <laughs> like Wim Hof. Yeah, and all those pussies. Except for you, Huberman. Love you. Okay. <laughs> I guess my point is. The greatest competitive athlete of all time has to be a, a football player, a Moroccan football player. Just by sheer numbers. Just by sheer numbers. What about baseball players, bro? They, they, win, they win the World Series. That's the whole world. It, it, That's pretty good. It is great marketing, but we all know it's not the whole world. Yeah. It is the whole world. Anyone that wants to play baseball, you're welcome Can, to play. But they don't, bro. That's what I'm saying. Usain Bolt is the greatest sportsman of all time because every person on this planet has run 100 meters straight except the governor of Texas. Yeah. <laughs> but but most people have. Now, he might be the fastest. But do they Who's do that? Do they, lucky? do they do that in the Paralympics? What do you mean? You could just get a wheelchair, put some rockets on it, see what happens. Yo. They should do that. <laughs> Yo. Battle bots meets Special Olympics, bro. 
Charge him up. Elon is wasting his I time. Think, thank bro. you. Put some rockets behind these <laughs> paralysis. And see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what, what happens. What are they called? Paraly Paraplegia. Paraplegia. Yeah. <laughs> That's Paralysis awesome. is way yeah. more fire. That shit is fire. Okay, so if Messi's the GOAT, that means he's the greatest competitive athlete of all time. Now you're willing to put him over your boy Floyd? Just by your same Ooh, argument? Oh, you're a Floyd let's guy. Fucking go. We got him. You got to spin it right now. Hey, hey. Hey, is that you in a corner, don't, Schultz? Don't you cry. bait yourself into a little don't corner? Don't cry, bro. Ooh. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Get hey, bro, can I tell y'all something? Get What's going on? Everybody fought. <laughs> Even Abbott slapped somebody. <laughs> you don't think Abbott, yeah, Governor absolutely. Abbott, yeah, yeah. you don't think Wheels slapped the shit out of somebody? Little, dick punch. Little yeah. dick punch one time. 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. talking yeah, yeah. all that shit. Bow. Yeah, yeah. On your knees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think 100% more people have probably fought than played football. More people have probably had a slap box than played football. Yes. 100%. No, I, I never yeah. fought. I never fought anyone, bro. You slap box might, your brother. I your might sister. be the greatest fighter of all time. I just never fought. Stop it. That's, that's your he point. He doesn't know. Your what, point. About, what about when your sister siblings. beats you the fuck up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I See, there you go. Me. So that's the fuck. Remember I might when your be sisters the... would, would fucking pull on your foreskin? Remember when they'd <laughs> no, you? No, no, that never Remember happened. they dragged you, you out of your about? bed by your foreskin? That's not true. That's not true. Don't get marked by no. his foreskin. It's breakfast time. <laughs> that's a lie. Do you that's remember a... they would hook you? No, no, no. They'd hook you like a tuna in the market in Tokyo. They'd just hook you by that foreskin and drag you out to breakfast. Toss me like we're in Seattle. 100%. You don't remember that? That never happened. That's why you got a hangy foreskin, bro. How do you know it's hanging? That's the word on the street. How you got a sleeping bag. <laughs> know that. Yo, that's what the word on the street is. You that got is, the sleeper. That is true sometimes. Yeah, when I sleep, yeah. I toss it over my shoulder. Man. Do you? Yeah, yeah, that's Have true. you ever tried to, like, tuck your toes in it when it gets cold at night? <laughs> I have, actually. I have. Right, it looks nice. like a wizard's hat, man. Does it? Yeah, 100%. That went. So what you kind just cocoon that whole shit over you? That's, yeah. oh, that's fire. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. A little onesie. Defense mechanism. I'm yeah. like an armadillo. A little butterfly. That's my chrysalis. Dude. That is a good ass point. Yeah. Dude, if you make a uh I'm not even gonna make the joke. So look. Where is your foreskin? Do you know? Uh yeah. When your parents, it. Yeah, I donated. Your parents either. mutilated you and you just donated it? Donated not my yeah. parents. Well, yeah. My parents didn't do it. My but mom or dad didn't do it. They begged them to do it though. They did beg them the to do it. The doctor was like, ah, we don't want it. And, the, and your parents said, we need but to do it. But you know what's off. funny is my parents, uh, because you could choose. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, it, like baggy jeans or shit w was like in back yeah, in the day. Jinko so, foreskin. Yeah. Literally, Jinko. Yeah, yeah. They asked for the Jinko. <laughs> so I got, I have a baggy, I have a lot more foreskin than most. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. this is 100%. I donated back. him months. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you have a little tip. I don't know what I was talking yeah, he about. Got a, <laughs> he got a black tip then. No, no, <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't Sorry, know what the fuck he's talking ball. about. You know. I know. I heard that you so. got your shit cut really tight. Your dick looked like a rash guard is on it. <laughs> I heard you can't even jerk your dick. You don't even got enough skin. Yeah, You can't even get fully hard. I don't. Your shit bows. I donated it all of it. Son. <laughs> <laughs> That's his dick. Listen, we just trying to talk about Moroccan football. Yeah, bro. sorry, yeah. sorry. Back and y'all want to talk point. about dicks all back the goddamn time. Back all right, let's okay, go back to talk about back the point? best athlete of all time. And Mayweather. why Ronaldo will be forgotten. Why Mayweather is the best athlete Yo, of all Mayweather's time. Yo, Mayweather is the greatest athlete of all time. Okay. There's no question. Put some respect After on. Mayweather, if we're going to talk about white sports, like football. There mm -hmm. we go. I was, I was talking about all sports. Uh, but sports where they try to exclude black people from playing, mm -hmm. like soccer. Latinos are yeah. not white. Say right? again? Latinos are not white. That's Ax, just... Acts a Latino. No, I knew, I knew you were going to say <laughs> you, that. That's just acts... something he says, so he's not dating a white woman, but oh my God. Uh, Latinos are not white. Wow. Yeah. Well, she's he's not, not even Latino. dating a Latina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. She's from she's from Europe. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah. yeah she's a bona fide <laughs> no, she's Caucasian. Spanish. She's Spanish. I was hoping you would bring that up. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she could, honestly, technically, she could have African roots. She, she could? Because the Moroccans, God bless their a lot souls. Of African root over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we get back on yeah. track yeah, yeah. here? Because yeah, be I, I really, be there are people that tuned in for a serious conversation about As they should. Moroccan football. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm the greatest football journalist of all time. Mm hmm. What I'm trying to say is, now that Messi has the World Cup, you can't even compare Ronaldo to Messi. It's I, I, I really don't think you can. You can't compare them. No. E even before, I wasn't even putting them in that. Well, listen, nine. before I did because I wasn't a fan of soccer. Then I started watching the videos here, okay? Yeah. And I'm looking at the videos. The level of skill, there's no comparison. Son. Messi is leagues above? What is the term? I don't know if you say leagues. He's I don't know if you say leagues. Really Ronaldo, Ronaldo's, Ronaldo. A, Ronaldo's a better physical specimen in his prime. Yeah. Jumps but higher, sprints faster. Well, I mean, he's hot, and that counts for something. That, also that, more that attractive, I think. More attractive. Yep, yep he is more attractive. Stronger. He yep. got benched. More powerful shot. That's political, though. What's going on it's with It's not benching? political. Well, let's not get into the benching. Let's All talk right. about earlier in the, in the peaks of their career, mm -hmm. right? I think what we're seeing right now, this decline of Ronaldo, mm -hmm. okay? We were talking about this a little bit earlier as well, is that 
because he relied more on his physical ability, now that his physical ability has declined, his effectiveness on the field, on the pitch, if you will, mm. has also declined. Yeah. Right? Now that he can't run as fast, now that he isn't as powerful, now that he can't be as physically imposing and dominant, his ability to affect the game has lessened at a faster rate than Messi, who was always a much more skilled player. Yeah. So if you had to compare them to NBA players, you said uh, Messi to you is Steph Curry. Steph Curry. So who is Cristiano Ronaldo? And, and let me like, say why. Um, and let me say why I say that. He, he's Steph Curry in terms of like Steph Curry gets his buckets. He has immense skill. Don't get me wrong. He has immense natural gifts. But he gets his buckets by outsmarting his opponents, mm -hmm. using every little move to move that person a fraction of an inch, and when they're a fraction of this, take advantage of that opportunity that he created. Yeah. When I'm watching these highlights of Messi, I'm like, this guy is solving three problems ahead mm -hmm. every single time. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to watch him work. He's doing one deke that he knows is gonna move this defender, but he can't kick the ball too far because he has another defender that he has to move around, and then a third one that he's preparing for. And I'm looking at this guy, and I'm like, holy shit, not only is he incredibly imp impressive in terms of problem solving, but also selfless. Yeah. Yes. Like he'll solve three problems and then he maybe could take a shot at goal, but he'll make the more high percentage play, pass it off, and then that person will score. Like Rain Man, his decision making is insane. Yeah. Yo, and then Mark was like, yeah, he, I mean, yeah, you're like, you basically call him autistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in like the most beautiful way, the guy's a fucking genius. He's applied the autism to football, Moroccan football. And he succeeded, and I watch Ronaldo play, and I see a guy with immense physical gifts, but not the same problem-solving ability, and it's probably because he hasn't had to solve the problems. It's like a, a guy like, I mean, LeBron is not the right comparison, because That's LeBron- That's I compared him to simply in terms of decision-making. But the thing about LeBron is that Le LeBron is so, one, so yeah. selfless. You, your Kobe comparison was really good, yeah. but I think Kobe's problem-solving was maybe more elite. I think like James Harding. The game came so easy to him. He was able to bully, get some space, create his shot. Oh, no. The second okay, the yeah, physical yeah. ability started to leave, it's mm. like you shit. know who it might be? It might be like Giannis Antetokounmpo. Mm. Once Giannis Antetokounmpo starts to slow down, but we don't know that yet. We don't know it yet. Yeah. But once his physical ability no longer can affect the game, yeah. It's gonna be hard for him to dominate because he can't fall back on these elite skills like Messi. Messi, you could watch him right now. He's not gonna beat somebody in a foot race. Yeah. Like we were watching the final. If it's one on one just racing for the ball, he's gonna lose every single time. Yeah, well, you now, don't even run that. Now, <laughs> before that motherfucker would, yeah. but now he wouldn't, but he's still effective because yeah. if he gets the ball within space, he can, he was involved with every scoring play. Yeah. So, so that's that like elite IQ. I, I, had, I had coaches like this. We would play with our coaches. I'd be like 15, 16, and we're all like running super crazy energy. And we would play with the coach who's like 50. But mentally, his decision making was so good and his change of speed was so good, he could hang with us and would beat mm. us. And he would make fun of us like, oh, you let an old man beat you. But like, if it's a foot race, we'll beat him. But just his ability to still play even at an old, old age just due to his like agility and mental game was like unmatched. So here's, interesting. Yeah. So here's something that's interesting. If we're saying uh, Messi's past Ronaldo, the gap is only going to grow because from what I'm hearing, Ronaldo very much relies on the physical. And Messi, he can keep aging. They're about the same age, yeah. right? Messi's going to keep being good for a few more. He was amazing in this World Cup. Yep. Second most goals and probably had more assists than Mbappe overall. So like contributed to more points. So he's just going to keep... He's gonna keep playing at a high level, theoretically, yeah. and Ronaldo's kind of gonna start uh, regressing a lot more. I think Ronaldo's that's, a that's little. So true. I think Ronaldo's a little older. I think he's a couple yeah. years older. Okay, I think but they're Ronaldo, close. Ronaldo, thirty-eight. I think so. And then Messi's what, thirty-five? Yeah. And this 36. is where I compare. I was comparing Messi's decision making to LeBron's, and I compared Ronaldo to Kobe based on what I've heard, which is Kobe wants it all on him at all times. Yeah. For better and for worse, this shit is mine, and you respect that. But I think that's what it seems like Ronaldo is. Mm. Like, if y'all didn't use me enough if we, and we won the World Cup, I don't give a fuck. I'm walking off. I'm pissed yeah. at the coach. You didn't play me enough. Mm. I don't know if Messi's like that, and that's how I also think LeBron is. It's like, yo, whoever gets a shot if we win, it's good. Regardless, we all just witnessed the greatest World Cup finals in history. Greatest yeah. World Cup in history. Maybe yeah. the greatest the World, World Cup, Cup in history. Fire. So I have to ask you guys the question. This is what everybody on the internet wants to know. I watched one World Cup. <laughs> is it, <laughs> now that we've watched the greatest World Cup and the greatest World Cup final in history, mm -hmm. It's worth the, the people that died building the stadiums, okay. right? Like, we can have... No, no, no. I'm asking... You can't the, say that. The internet is asking no. the question. No. The no internet is asking... That. No one said Let that. me ask you this. Okay. After watching the game, you feel a little bit more, at least... So, there was a lot of people from Morocco there, bro. That's not true. Pakistan. 
and some. It was worth it if you uh, ask yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, if you ask me, that shit was worth it. Now, do you think Damn. if there are any fans of soccer, do you think that there are any fans that were these massive Messi fans, and they're like, if I am going to give my life building these stadiums, at least let Messi win his first World Cup. Do you think that there's a little bit? Maybe that's how they won, how he won. Human sacrifice. They offered themselves up to God. Come on, Al. What? What you got to say? Was it Catholic? Was it say? Catholics that died? Say again. Catholics that died? I don't know who died. I'm just saying. What do you 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 awfully quiet, pussy? I'm, <laughs> I'm not you on board. Quiet I'm not on board here. with this one. Not bro. on board with what, Al? Not, not on board with what? People shouldn't have to die to play kickball, bro. It Come shouldn't. on, bro. It shouldn't. What if it was to build the Super Bowl? What was it? Now that's a game. What if it was to have a <laughs> conversation a game. on a comedy podcast? <laughs> what about that hypothetical? That one's rough. It's Can rough. we have that hypothetical? It's a rough one. Wait, who did you say died? Who died? I didn't say anybody died. No. I also no. didn't say this is how I feel. The internet was asking this question. Who allegedly died? Was it Pakistanis? I don't know. The okay. people that were building the stadium, allegedly. Were they black? I think they were brown. Oh. Oh, why y'all putting me in? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hypothetically, right so, I really you you no. Yeah, no. it was a bunch of people from Finland. There was a lot. A lot of. White I would care about your people. Yeah, you I right. Hey, hey, you right. Yeah. See see how how it goes? Who cares about? I gotta care about the. Finish. If it was Sweden, all right, see that's the do? only place I'll be like, all right, it's fine. See what I'm saying? So just imagine it was Swedes. Imagine it was 500 Swedes died building them stadiums. Yep. So Messi could finally get his. Just IKEA cranking furniture. Yeah, I know. I would imagine. Done. Uncomfortable stadium. What happened? <laughs> it's all plastic. Yeah, yeah. It came in flat. You gotta build yeah, your right. own seat when you get oh, there. Oh man, that would be horrible. <laughs> all I'm saying is, a lot of people are trying to have that conversation, and I thought I would pose that question to you guys. Mm -hmm. Was it so good that it makes you feel a little bit better about that? We all feel horrible that these people died, but do you feel a little bit better? It was so good, you're gonna forget the people died. Maybe that's the better way of posing. Conveniently block that out of your memory. Is that? And it? when you talk about this World Cup, remember when this started? And I'm not picking on you. This is the mentality of everybody. But you were like. The whole thing feels tainted, man. The whole thing feels gross. And yep. then every match was good to the point that we were like, this is the best. I mean, USC yeah. kept winning. I was like, I mean, <laughs> I, be I, mean I, don't, I don't think they should ever do a World Cup outside of Qatar. <laughs> I think, I think yeah. so far, good so idea. far, no, can I, I say this? Good idea. Can I say good idea. this? Good idea. Qatar is the go to World Cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if this is the greatest World Cup ever, right? If it's the greatest World Cup ever, let me tell you this. We didn't miss alcohol, did we? Shout to Islam. We weren't there, bro. Shout to Islam. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, talking yeah. About? Miss Andrew Tate, Andrew Schultz. I'm, I'm just know, saying, know, know. we didn't miss it. We didn't miss bitches. We're married. We're all what? married, bro. What I, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yo, get. There was a few in the stands, Side but I'm just saying. saying. Side <laughs> note, mad pressure when they go to the stands and a girl is wearing like the jersey of where she's from, because that's how I judge all the women from your country. Yes. Like if yeah. they go to you as a fine girl, we're like, yo, we need to go Croatia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, red red and white Croatia. It was shorty. this ginger hey, yeah. like, old lady, and I was like, oh, skip it. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. I think we said this before. You got to subsidize it. You have to send yeah. your best. Send your best, bro. Put them on a plane. I don't tourism care. Commercial. Plump up your lips and get the stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, bribe the camera guy. Everyone's like, bribe the refs. Fuck that, bro. Bribe camera the camera guy. guy. Say, that's hey, tourism. Yeah, Man, people are gonna go to Croatia after what they saw. A million saw. percent. Oh, we didn't send out our best. We didn't have that. It was. We Yo, were there weren't rough. a lot of American girls that we were going to. That's a great uh, point. Yeah. They're already in. That's movies. why we lost. We didn't shit it on. That why didn't help. Was, you know what I mean? It's one hour <laughs> flight. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That no, it didn't help. Point. Also, the most beautiful American women typically, you know, a lot of them are not necessarily from America. That's the other thing. Oh, interesting. They Man, come over. They came over. The they came over from Colombia. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, bro. Say. They come Latina. over from Colombia. They mix Spanish. in a little. Yeah. They coming from the islands. They mix in a little. Spanish. So when it comes to support a team, they're not supporting America. You know what's wild? Spanish, I want to yeah. talk mad shit about you, but all of our moms aren't from America. That's my point. Bro. <laughs> That's my One point. One of our mom. Wait, was your mom born in uh, America or Puerto Rico? Uh, America uh, light. New York. Yeah. She was born in New York. Oh wow. She was like the last of eleven. So That's what. Yeah, exactly. Was here already. They came up. She's yeah. one of them. <laughs> yeah. Eleven? Yeah. yeah. The youngest of eleven. Yeah. Damn. Golly, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Have you met Gramps? Yeah. You met Gramps? Yeah, a cool dude. I mean, really? Mom, obviously. I mean, he was yeah. just the man, bro. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Literally. Yeah, swag. Wow. Mad uncles and aunties. <laughs> That's what I get. Same from, moms? You know, swag Same out. moms? Uh, two were not. And oh, two were not? Oh, them. but nine with one and then dang, two dang, more? Yeah. Same. My dad won a nine. My dad, my grandpa was born in the 1800s. Sorry, did anybody ask <laughs> how many, <laughs> family, how many kids he comes Take from? off that job. <laughs> Take it off. Uh, 
You don't deserve it. Nah, but okay. now that I'm thinking about it, I think I just made up 11. I think it's like nine now that I'm like <laughs> going through all the odds. Oh, because yeah. I think it's about nine. Yeah. 11, yeah. But it's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's fine, though. Uncles, yeah. inches, yeah. you just add yeah, a yeah. couple. You know? Yeah. Just bad cousins. Yeah. I don't okay. Even know. <laughs> okay. Let's just get back here because we don't want to take all episode to discuss this, but we really can because it is the world's game. Yes. And we are having this conversation for the world. The question is, now that Ronaldo has not won a World Cup, is there any player that hasn't won a World Cup that we still talk about? <laughs> We're talking about Ronaldo now, so that it's the odd, yeah, yeah. It's the odd thing that's happening. Hey, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Which are good-ass points. No, quit making good-ass points, making me look like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, motherfucker. That's my bad. That's God my bad. damn it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Took the wind out of my sails. <laughs> this is a no, no, no. question. No, I'm saying like historical figures. Like Pele oh. probably won a World Cup, right? They all, every goat yeah. won a World Cup. Pele, Maradona, Maradona and okay. then now Messi. Messi. Johan Cruyff. Oh, Cruyff. Oh, yeah. how could we forget? Did the first Ronaldo Johan. Win? What? Yeah. Did the first Ronaldo win one? Yeah, yeah. Ronaldo won one? Two. 100%. Lewandowski, Robert Lewandowski, he never won. Nobody gives a fuck. Son, these are truly names I've never heard in my life. And yeah. I've been watching soccer for like six days now. Yeah, I know. So, okay, that's my right. point, exactly. With all due respect, with all due respect. It's not going to be respectful. No, no, with all due respect to be David respectful. Beckham. Oh. Motherfuckers yeah. don't even know he plays soccer. Son. You're just hot, dude. You're just hot. Motherfuckers don't even know he plays son, soccer. Son, you're a hot dude married to Spice Girl. Thank That's you. all I know about Thank you. Thank you. That's all I know about you. Thank you. I gave him Thank his respect. You. He's hot. Nah. He That's what he's nice. known for. No, 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 no. Hot. He was nice, but no World Cup? Forgotten. <laughs> It's it's disappeared. So He's got to take cup. these things off. E pluribus unum. Son. What is that? E pluribus unum. Come on. <laughs> e pluribus unum. Only we're, reason we're I'm all Beckham. united? What is that? <laughs> That's on the dollar, bro. That's okay, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I just need some Latin right there. It felt like the right thing. I wanted to do a Harry Potter spell. I forgot how to do a Vita Cadabra. Yeah. <laughs> from, yeah. from many one? From many one. That's what E pluribus unum is. Yeah, from many one. Exactly, bro. Come on, Al. Rock with me, son. Rock with me. Al, prop it up. Hey. Prop it up, Al. Hey. Al, prop it up. Oh, that shit was fire. That's so what I'm saying, my boy. We creating momentum out here. Hey. Eat poor Miss Suda. From many goat <laughs> conversations, there can only be there can one only go. Oh, oh, my wow. God, bro. God damn. Wow, bro. Mm -hmm. Get it, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. Get it, dude. That's crazy. Okay. My point is, <laughs> Messi telling all his fans to shut up right here. Look at this. That's Ronaldo, but it's all good. Ronaldo telling all his fans. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, and we're back. And we're we back. all make mistakes. It would have been good. It would have been good. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Fuck. You know Ronaldo's in the grave when even speed flips on you. Wow. You Ooh. saw that? Speed flipped. He flipped. Oof. Yeah. Took off his shirt underneath Messi jersey. Oh, Because right. the motherfucker knew. Shit. And I bet Messi will meet him. Say what's up to him. Exactly. Give him a hug. Come on, bro. He looks so happy to do it, too. Wow. Wow. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. So was he out there for the entire shit? Yes, bro. Yeah. God damn. It's the world's yep. game. The world's goddamn game. Do we have to thank Speed for making soccer popular in America? Oh. Actually, Might we do. To. <laughs> can you can you elaborate on that, please? I'm, I'm just saying we had Landon Donovan. He brought a couple people into the game. Yup. We had Tyler Adams. He brought a couple people in the game. Don't know. Speed might have brought more people to... You America. had a comment about Landon Donovan during the broadcasting. What were you talking about him? Landon, it's time, bro. It's time for what? Shave it off, buddy. Shave it off. Shave it off, bro. Why no. is he a hater? I'm his saying... Good his head, head looks dude. stupid. Make yeah, his shit didn't, so he just... That's what I'm saying. It Either so it looks grow like it out in the back, it, flip it, or go to Turkey, get the transplants, get on get on some type of uh, finasteride something, make yeah. it come back, or nah, that's crazy. shave it off. He looks. Can you get him up? He yeah, looks, yeah. He looks. He looks stupid, man. And I'm not even. Try, I'm not even trying to diss the guy. I'm, I'm a Donovan like, fan, bro. I grew up watching this guy. But you got it's got to go, buddy. Yo, nah, yeah, I hate it. We're not hating, bro. I loved him. Remember when Tim Howard did that crazy outlet pass and he scored? Yes. Are you serious right now? I'm being dead serious. We're talking about <laughs> French and beef. I'm yeah, I remember. Yeah, like, what the I remember very well. That's that's at its best. So no, that's that's dumb. Dumb. bad. That's no, not no, bad. no, don't no, disrespect. No, no, no. That's, that's come disrespectful. On, come on, bro. That's that's Rihanna. Jeez, nah, 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 come on. Nah, yo, that is Rihanna. Wow, that bro. Is that's Riri. That's Riri. That is wild that, disrespectful. Why is that, why, is that disrespectful? Wow. why is that disrespectful? Why is that disrespectful? Why is that disrespectful? Why is it disrespectful? Like compared uh, to a bald man. Listen, bro. Does Rihanna have a beautiful large forehead? <laughs> not that. That's not a beautiful yo, forehead. My wife tried to put big foreheads on me. Huh? 
She was like, you love big foreheads. <laughs> I was like, do I? She's like, I've seen girls that you're into. And I was like, I didn't even know that that was like a characteristic I'm into. Yeah. Apparently, oh yo, God. Landon, you better cover that shit up, my Let's boy. Let's go, bro. Dude, for no, but go. you don't have size. No, no I do. Just comes no, forward. I'm built with size. No, you got oh, anvil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got anvil. Oh, yeah. She's like, <laughs> nah. You got like, anvil. I got Petra, bro. My face is Petra, dog. Nah, you're not really bro. big. Yeah, you don't just, have a lot of you don't have a lot of like uh, inches. You don't have a lot of inches this way. <laughs> yeah. But you do. But it does depth. come forward. You're yeah, like yeah, a yeah. hammerhead shark. With it. <laughs> well, yeah, hammerhead like, goes out like this. Yeah. It's similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. That is true. Yeah. But now you Landon, have something there. Yeah, I'm trying to see what is he. <laughs> Easter Island head. That's probably the closest thing, man. Do you get to stand a little closer to like the eye exam thing? Okay, no, let's because move. your eyes are stuck so far. Let's back. move on. Let's just. <laughs> do you get, do you now you're being offended. Now you're being rude. Now you're being rude to my family. Now you're being rude. We're gonna move on. All right. Do you have to get like custom fitted because they don't make your size. Yo, low key, what yes. What is your hat yes. size? It's is it insane. Like, Genuinely, is insane. Can I, I just snap question? back and just let it go? I, and I, snap know. back is like the last two hooks. I swear to God. But serious question: What is bigger, shoe or hat size? It relatively? No, no, no. no actually, like, they're numbers. both the number. Well, hat size is like in the 30s, right? Normally? No, it's oh. like seven and three fourths. Yeah. God damn! <laughs> Even in the 30s. <laughs> Every hat's in like the 30s, right? He said it's yeah. in the 30s. No. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I tried to What the fuck? Hats are in the 30s. Bro. He need a custom hat. Nah, no, it's like in the 30s. Doc, I tried to give him, I was like, maybe a centimeters. No, 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 no. But even then, it's like a 15. No, no, come on, me. bro. That's hats are in the 30s. Ridiculous. What are you? You're probably 20. You're, you're probably a 20 size nah, hat. Nah, I'm an eight and a quarter, bro. Come, nah, no, 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 no. Eight and a, it's eight, right? I'm, no, seven, seven and a quarter. Oh, I was about seven to say eight and a quarter. quarter is kind seven of big, and a quarter. dude. Seven and a quarter. Genuinely, it's probably double digits. I've never had a fitted that I found that I put on that fit me. Never in my <laughs> so life. That's wild, crazy. I was a manager of baseball teams. There were hats Did everywhere. Did you try taking one off a mascot? <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> That's the only way, bro. <laughs> I have to find a tiger that's got a hat on. That's, if it's gonna fit, there's holes in the ears, bro. It's fucking a nightmare. A lot of people don't talk about the difficulties of having larger things. <laughs> Your nose isn't that big, bro. Your nose isn't that big. I'm not, when I drink I know, wine it's... out of a glass, I, I have to do mostly neck because, <laughs> because the wine glass stops here and then I literally, I have to tilt my head back. And the most embarrassing thing, that's why I always let my wife taste it. Because when they do the taste, it's oh. just a little at the bottom. Yeah, but mm. you would know if it's good or not. Because so you could get all the way in the fucking glass. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, no, I can smell it better than most people. No, but you, when you I actually sn- have to sip it, I'm fucking drinking. I'm at a restaurant, and there's a pole behind my seat. And I mm. went like this to try it, and I went, dong. dong and it made the sound <laughs> gone. <laughs> did all, That's every, crazy. Was it an Asian restaurant? <laughs> did everyone bow as soon as you did it? Hi, I'm to say it. <laughs> yeah, they thought another person was walking in. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. But no, the, the sniffing thing is tricky. You ever snorted up? What? Cocaine? The wine? The wine? <laughs> no, oh. Not cocaine. Really? You're going to let that happen? Yo. You're going to do that to me? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to do that to me? <laughs> yo, yo. No, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> what I You're going to do that to me? He's, right he's like, I words. Gonna, I was, we, he had, got no, we had a beautiful got, time. We had a beautiful time in Morocco. We all had a great time. <laughs> We were brothers, bro. Bad, we were so brothers, bro. That's my bad. And then, and then that, that, that's how you, that's that how you do me, bro. <laughs> that's my bad. Go, go. Go, go, go. No, no, I'm no, sorry. No. Go, 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 go. I was about to bring it back to a dub because he's been quiet. Ooh, mm-hmm. Go, go. I'm go. pouting. Go. <laughs> I'm pouting. No, but go on. Yes, I have smelled the wine, <laughs> and I did smell it. Motherfucker, he needs those extendo cuts for his glasses. Bro, my shit is just that part, bro. That's not fair, bro. That's not It's like, like go go gadget yes. I have my shit up as like an arm, bro. It's yes. like, yes. We should talk about our trip to Morocco. We we made a crazy little trip to Morocco. If you're real asshole army flagrant supporter, you already know what the fuck time it was. Um, we pulled off some uh, incredible shit. Mm-hmm. So Morocco was gonna play or did play France. Yeah. In the semifinals. Yeah. Now Morocco is this massive underdog. Um, I love underdogs. I love the underdog story. Mm-hmm. Uh, it motivates me. It excites me. I love the energy around underdogs. Everything about the what if moment yeah. excites me. And we were going to go watch the game in Qatar. The reason why we're not in Qatar right now is because this is my uh, first year anniversary with my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fire and, and is awesome. But um, we had to watch, you know, the game. But I didn't want to go out there to Qatar and then my wife's got to wear a fucking garbage bag for the whole weekend or whatever. <laughs> it's not the best way to celebrate your first anniversary. <laughs> All it helps respect. gratitude in America, though. It's like, That's look how great things point. are. You That's know? a good-ass point. I could just turn the thing 
around. <laughs> she can't see at all. And I just run and go watch the game. Yeah. That's a, do they ever play that game with their watch? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just walking, then flip the garbage bag around, and then it's just nothing. You see absolutely yeah. nothing. That's a really fun prank. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. That is a fun prank. That's not a fun prank. <laughs> you don't think that that's, that's a fun wild, prank? dude. Is that? Why is that wild? It's kind of a funny prank. Yeah. Do you know what's uh, no? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so uh, so we're talking about we're like, do we want to go to Qatar? We're like, no, I don't really want to go to Qatar. I mean, no offense, Qatar, but like, it didn't feel like the energy was there. Like, it didn't yeah. feel like there was the people that were there. Like, if I'm gonna watch this game, we're gonna go out and watch a game. I want to watch it with the people. So it was either we go to Paris and watch. The French people watch France go against Morocco, which obviously Mark wants to go. Alex was thinking about going as well. Or we go to Morocco. Now, the energy around an underdog is so much better. Yeah. Also, one of my best friends in the entire world happens to be a Moroccan. Mm. So we do have an affinity for Moroccans, okay? Yeah. Now, who I'm better? Right here. Come on, bro. He's barely ah, French. French. Dog, the bro, guy. We thought Dub was Moroccan until we went to Morocco. We realized those people are Moroccan. Yeah. Yo, Dub is, we Dub realized is white. that you can't speak French. Dub, Dub is white. <laughs> <Morocco, so. laughs> My French was nice, bro. My French was nice. Bam, bam, bam. That was rough. That dude. was an eplorbis. Yo, Why you eplorbis him, bro, yo. Bro, you Come did eplorbis him. Yeah. Anyway, so um, the night before, uh, the the night the night before, no, two nights before the game, I messaged everybody. I go bring a passport and a pair of underwear to the podcast because we still had to report record the podcast. We didn't have any tickets booked. We had none of that shit. And um, I'm talking to Dove all night. I'm like, can we fucking pull this off? Can we go do it? And there's a the vlog that's probably out right now. Some of you guys go check it out. We vlog the whole experience. It's really wild. And <laughs> so we decide we go fuck it. We come to the pod. We basically right before the podcast starts, I think agree to go. Was it right before? Or was it even during? Yeah, early. Yeah. Dove was a little <laughs> stressed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why was Dove stressed? I don't know. I don't know. Why do you look so stressed, Dove? You mean because Andrew wants to leave in a few hours to Morocco with six guys during the World Cup in a city that no one's been to, with equipment we don't have out there yet, with a place not to view it yet. Hold on. No, we'll be fine. And then he had to do that while we were At first, everyone was a little stressed, I think. Like, Akash played it off well, but I could see him a couple times being like, what the fuck are we doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you don't like to travel, yo. <laughs> you don't like to travel. You're a great sport. Like, nobody's a better sport than you. Yeah. But zero, that's, that's not true. Zero shit. notice to go to Africa? You don't like to travel. Yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I committed, and I thought it was going to be so dope. And then the, the night of, for the night we committed, and then the day, I was like, Yo, we're going to motherfucking Africa? <laughs> yeah. And all I got is a couple pairs of underwear and a toothbrush? What yeah. the fuck is happening? It's an adventure, baby. Yeah, it was worth it. But I was like, God damn, it's a lot, yo. We're doing a lot. Be honest, Burning Man, Morocco. Morocco, not even fucking close. <laughs> I disagree, but, but, yeah, but Morocco's disagree. still I fire. Disagree. I just want to let y'all know, Morocco's still fire. fire. Outfit's very similar, <laughs> but but I don't know if I'm saying Morocco is fucking with Burning Man. But anyway, we go. I'm just mad I listened to this motherfucker and only packed underwear. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, I didn't have a tooth. Same, bro. We were there for two I, yeah. days. That was the two most annoying thing. Two nights days. Like, First bring of all. a backpack oh, and a Oh, and here's the best part. We I'm all like, had backpacks. All of a sudden, I look at Andrew. He's got a backpack and a bag. Yeah. We travel for a living. We have the right carry-on bag with the right thing, and Andrew's like, you know, just bring your toothbrush in this. Now look at him. Looks like a homeless at the corner. Look at him. I have to lift the fucking heavy duff. All this money and look what, what we packed our bags. This is good. This is more exciting. <laughs> We're going to Africa. We're just taking a backpack. Isn't that way cooler than everybody with their little roll-on bags? God it forbid you have to cross it over you your shoulder. Shopping. This is what he's bringing from New York. This is Christmas. Yeah, because not everything fit. Because I need to support kids super. Unlike you <laughs> selfish pieces of shit. Oh, I can't roll my bag. They don't have streets where we're going. What are you going to do? Wait, I gotta get my favorite angle here. Stop, okay, there stop. We go. I'm not gonna. Because <laughs> I had to that bring Kid nice. Super stuff. Because we were going to meet Kid Super. Shout out to Colin. Shout out to Kid. Uh, and, uh, and Kid Super was also very motivational in this because he was like, yo, it'd be so much more fire if we watched that shit in Morocco. Yeah. So it was like, all right, let's do it. And he flew from Brazil Bruh. that day, like 18 Brazil hours. Brazil to, to get Spain there. to some other shit eventually gets to Morocco. Yeah. He meets us the next day. But we go on this flight, and Dove is a master of fucking travel. The guy's booked flights for fucking years. He's lived in Europe every single. But the guy's a master. Like he, yeah. if there's an, if there's a flight to be found, this motherfucker will find it. I'm excited. I'm actually excited to have about seven hours where I could just chill. Mm. We're taking his red eye. <laughs> we get on this flight. That shit takes off. 
I was searching. I was searching for some Wi-Fi before the flight took off, and I was like, you know, that Wi-Fi probably gonna pop up. Once yeah, yeah. Once we get to, yeah. Feet. We're not at ten thousand feet. Yeah, we're just. Yeah, why does the plane have a Verizon Wi-Fi? That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, this is odd. Odd, odd thing, right? I I opened up at ten thousand. I asked the lady. I was like, Yo, are we at ten thousand feet? She's like, Yeah, because I didn't even want to know the bad news. I wanted to see for myself. You had a lady flight attendant. Yeah. Well, you had men. Yeah. Only men. No. Oh no, they don't yeah. do that. They don't do that in business class, my boy. <laughs> I noticed that it was only dudes, and I was like, huh, I wonder what that was about. And they were not happy about it. Yeah. They were they were kerfuffled. Wait, on, really? On my, on my side, there were there was a big fan of Schultz. So he just kept slipping me wine. Get out of yeah. here. No, he said hi. Dude, Schultz got recognized in Morocco so much. It was it was amazing. It was amazing. It was but cool. she, she wasn't slipping you, or he wasn't slipping you wine because he knew you. He was slipping you wine because Dove goes, Oh yeah, that's my best friend. <laughs> Did oh, you pull that first off? First of all, no, no, the first I tried, thing he said. I just try to first get him to get me into business class. And then that was a consolation. There's something <laughs> about going closer to the homeland that just brings out the like, negotiator in uh, him. Like, yeah, yeah. he's sport. already- He was haggling the with gym. the pilot. Come he was on, like, can man. I just sit behind you? Just, yeah, the, yeah, just yeah. shotgun. Let me just go shotgun. What's wrong with shotgun? You want me up here. Come on. Yeah, you want me up here. <laughs> you want me up here. <laughs> I'll DJ. Let me play music. Come on, pass so, off. So we get on this flight. Of course, there's no internet fucking seven hours. Yeah. Okay? We deal with it. We land. Go to almost missed the flight. Oh shit! That's right. We got to yeah. go Casablanca to Marrakesh. Yeah. We finally get to Marrakesh, um, and then what the fuck happens? We went straight to the Riyadh. Oh to yeah. The Medina. Yes. Yes. So Dove got this beautiful Riyadh that's in the Medina. Shout out to Munim. Do we know the name of it? If you guys ever go to Marrakesh, Dar this is where you guys it's called should Dar Moda, and it's like a five oh, suite boutique hotel Amazing. in the Shouk, and we, it's just we had the whole service. Yeah. It was the whole hotel. Remember showing us the roof? Oh yeah. Wow. Awesome. Hey, would it be possible to show them the roof? Can I show them yeah. the roof? Yeah. Wow. Not bad. What? What's really cool about some of these little stores is that they look tiny upon the entrance, but then they open up and they go way back into the... I mean, look at this. It's just this insane place that has been built over, I don't know, probably thousands of yeah. fucking years. Like, yeah. you could never design a place like this. Mm -hmm. You know, like culture just needs to create a place like this, developing yeah. organically over yeah. thousands of years. A lot years. of rugs. A lot of, that's not a stereotype. No. They love rugs. No. They love a carpet, Big, man. Yeah. Export. Yeah. 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 yeah for real. Why you have to call it a carpet, though? It's a carpet. What is a carpet, bro? What do you think came first, the love of rugs or having to pray five times a day? Whoa. Ooh. That's a good ass point, bro. Oh, because, that's a great point. you know what I'm saying? Did prayer five times a day, was they that a way to... They were like, I thought, this is cool, man. Right? I'm noticing yeah. this rug, I'm thinking about rugs a lot. Or was there like a rug dealer that like hit up Muhammad and he was like, yo, can we up it a few? <laughs> <laughs> like, I need some wear and tear in these rugs. Yeah, so you know what's better than units. praying four times? Five, baby. Yeah. I'm just saying, we have to look at that. Yeah, yeah, I'm curious. I think the rugs were probably made prior. Islam comes around like what, 500 AD? Sure. 600 AD, Why not? something like that. Let's go with that. Right? Yeah. People had rugs before that. Uh-huh. Aladdin was flying around in like zero. Yeah, exactly. How right you, or wrong? How you know Aladdin wasn't Muslim? Mm. He wasn't. Okay, good point. <laughs> you won. <laughs> Ottoman Empire, That's right? a great argument. <laughs> Fuck, he was Muslim, wasn't he? <laughs> was he Muslim? Yeah, he had to be Muslim. I'm yeah, saying. I mean, he wears a fez, right? No. Does Aladdin wear a fez? Uh, yeah. I think, I think oh, he does, yeah. bro. He might wear a fez. Yeah, yeah. Like a low one, I think. Anywho. That's a Moroccan dude. It was just dope. Walking around the souk. We walk around the souk. We go to the square. Yeah. And The square's it, crazy. The square's crazy. Yeah. That's where we're going to watch the game. Yeah. Yeah. And during the day, it kind of seems like kind of chill, sort of low key. It's like Times Square of Mar Morocco, of Marrakesh. Yeah. Yep. And then the snake charmers. But instead of billboards, yeah, it's snakes and monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> and there's literal cobras that are just sitting in the square, and they're not attached to nothing. Yeah. They no, are free-range cobras. Instead of Pokemon cobras. to take pictures with, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. snakes yeah, and yeah, monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was super confident. I was surprised at how confident you were with this. Yeah, you're really good with snakes, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. No, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was surprised how brave you were. Why were you so pussy when the snake... <laughs> what happened? Yeah, relax. What happened? Push me into a I didn't push you. you. There's no proof of that. Push me into a cobra. You know you pushed me into a cobra. No, I didn't. No, no, no. First of all, you have no balance, bro. So you want to take this 
outside. One v one you right there's now. Snake not make all day. There's a snake good? out there. Bro. Like what's chill. good? Let's just chill. Bro, I'm I gave I'm Al. Fucking. I gave Al a little nudge, yeah, yeah. and the cobra is staring at him. And then, bro, the way that you freaked out, bro. <laughs> he grabbed his ankle, trying to get a yellow card. It was. Yeah. <laughs> they know that we're coming for the snake, bro. They know it. The music's getting louder. Hi, everybody. Okay, we're here. I don't even know what to say right now. Oh, that one keeps lunging, bro. Did you not get that? Did you not get that? Oh, that's how they get you, boy. Look at that. Oh, shit. What's going on? Take the monkey. Take the monkey. Take the monkey. <laughs> Dude, then, so we do the snakes, and this is a really annoying thing about the snakes and about the monkeys as well, is that like, the experience being with them is incredible. Like, there's a fucking cobra right in front of you. Yes. Right? You are photobombing a cobra. <laughs> it's pretty remarkable. You're seeing it right there. There's nothing stopping it. I'm sure they defang them or do some horribly, yeah, what is yeah. it, animal cruelty yeah, shit yeah. to them, but it, it, whatever. It's but there's cool. something about I being around. So. Come on, bro. Because the guys around it were very afraid of it, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude was throwing fucking rugs and shit on top of it to calm it down. <laughs> he was praying. I think nah, he was praying. Nah, nah, nah. Like, he was afraid of it, too. So if he's afraid of it and he's the fucking we charming the motherfucker, I'm yeah. not going near that. You think the charming does anything? No. I don't think so. No. The drugs do something, though. Oh, yeah, they must be drugging yeah. these guys. Yeah. But I the mean, snakes are still up. Yeah. yeah like, they're, they're still alert, going bro. after. They're on ecstasy. Yeah, yeah. this is raving, dude. But just, just hear, They just think they're at, a, like, an EDM festival, yeah. and they just hear the music, and they're just bobbing They start playing the fucking flute. They think it's blondish, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. They're fucking vibing. Yeah. They, were, they were into it. It was I fire. that shit was fake. I thought that was only in the cartoons. <laughs> but I will say... <laughs> I really did. The worst thing about it is the way that they kind of hustle you when they leave... Mm. Oh, you didn't like that. I did not like it, man, because it's like, all it would take is one group of them, because there's a bunch of different, like, snake charmers, one group to not do that, and then you would tell people to go to that group every single time they want a picture with a snake. But, like, they hustle you, they leave, they're like, hold Porsche. I don't think that's true. What's that? If there was one group, you think you would go and tell people, like, yo, when you go to Morocco, yeah. find this group to take the snake pictures <laughs> yeah. with. Like, Don't go to the guy with the no beard There's no trip advisor for hat. snake charmer groups. No, the guy with the beard and the He's hat named Muhammad, Yelp that guy is... Wait, you don't These think? guys are trying to make money however they can make it. They're just That's why they're so aggressive. It's a... I'm not that I liked it, but I get why it's happening. It's a necessity. But you didn't like it, though. I didn't like it. No, it was put the, the fucking one. And maybe on. if there was one that you would like, you would like tell people to go back to. I that. wouldn't tell. Where's people. the apple of be, snake charm? It would be like the tenth yeah. thing on my list of tell to tell people in Morocco. Where to get snake charmed, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Right? Well, yes. well, okay, give me the other nine. The least? No, no, give me the other nine things that you're going to tell where people. Where to buy to... a jalaba? Where to eat? Where oh, to Oh, I don't know where you could buy one. Every <laughs> fucking store you walk by in the souk? Just ask anyone. We're the nicest, and they got least aggressive guys there. They're annoying at those stores, too. And you think you're paying for snake charming twice? Mm. Say what? You gonna do that snake charming thing twice? You gonna no, go to one guy? He's like, oh, I had a bad experience. Let me try the next guy. He's saying like, who's he, gonna do that? He's, not, he's <laughs> saying it's a referral based business. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, yeah. I think it is referral based. Yeah. <laughs> Did you sign the exit form? I, I like, said word of mouth. You've been to Morocco twice. Didn't even know. You didn't. You didn't, didn't have know the what? reference for yourself. I didn't take no pictures with snakes the first time I was there. <laughs> what were you doing the first time? I had a wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not doing oh, that risk taking ass pussy. shit. He's yeah. bad pussy. Yeah, yeah, away yeah, from he he no cameras around, him, man. bro. Yeah, I, you know, man, I can't do that shit. But then we went to the. Yeah, I, he was an activist before. He's like, no, I was like, this is cruel. This is cruel. <laughs> this is fucked up what they're doing to these monkeys. Now, give me one of them. Nah, goddamn I feel bad for the monkeys. Me too. Until it was didn't feel bad until it was all me. I was like, oh, this is fantastic. He kept pulling me aside. He's like, yo, their palms are so soft. I was like, you not allowed to have a monkey. You are not allowed to get a monkey. If you say you're getting a pet monkey, bro, I'm calling the authorities, man. Yeah. You getting that banana beat. They say AIDS started somehow. Son, it's crazy. In zero. Son, bro. you really would he, <laughs> oh he kept going. God. He goes, yo, son, that monkey's You oh, had to so feel it. Off. Son, it was mad. So it was Dove's hands, bro. Uh, come on. But, why wouldn't you liken it to a woman's yeah, hand? Yeah, what is that? This motherfucker is weird. His hands are softer My than hands a woman's hands. Woman. Than this any is, woman's yeah. hands? Yes, yes. I mean, they might be. They really are. Dove got some soft weird ass soft. hands. Yeah. That's weird. the alley-oop. If, if you're listening right now and you're a girl and you ever meet Dove and I'm there, I will for sure throw the alley-oop to Dove by making you... 
touch his hands. It's one of my favorite things to help you get pussy. Yeah, you need the help. Has that ever gotten me pussy? Is it, is it though? I mean, has, has he had sex with a lot of fans? Yo, 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 yo. Has he had sex with a lot of fans ever. though? Yo, th yo, this is the other thing that he, yo, Dove, first of all, if you're a fan of this podcast, you support this podcast, or you come out to the stand up shows, Dove forgot about you. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Dove forgot about you. Yep. If you hooked up with Dove, <laughs> oh, okay, there we he go. He forgot. Isn't that crazy? Yep. Isn't that crazy that he could actually say yep. that he's never hooked up with a fan of the pod or a fan in. of the stand up? Yeah. yeah. What fan have I ever slept with that is really- Wait, 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 wait. Okay, say it again. <laughs> I'm gonna not talk if you keep doing it. <laughs> what do you think he's supposed to do, dog? He's shooting out on purpose like that. Like what? On purpose like, like what? that. I would never. Like what? So I would never. Get that much closer, you're gonna get your nose, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's, That's what every girl sees when she has sex. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but it's multiple girls. Do you see how that works <laughs> in my life? But what were you saying? What was the story? You have sex with a lot of fans or something like that? No fans. You've never had sex with a fan of the pod? Not one time. I hooked you up with a fan of the pod. You just couldn't close. That's on you. She had a boyfriend. So That's you've never slept you. with a fan of the pod or like a fan of the stand-up? Not one time. I met a girl at a comedy <laughs> show. Stop fucking my fans, bro. Bro. Bro, that's a little bit, that's not egregious. Once. That's just, I want everyone to understand. Not one time. <laughs> like, why you cap? Why even cap? Why cap? It's such a lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not, though. That, that's all you got? No. <laughs> it's, it, but it's actually not true. I've met a girl at a comedy club, and you were one of the showcased <laughs> artists, but it wasn't your show. It wasn't the podcast. She happened to have an Andrew Schultz no. shirt. Yeah. I get some, yeah, yeah, yeah. some DMs sometimes, sure. That's but coincidental. No. Coincidental. The DMs aren't co coincidental, but I'm not hooked up with them. So They don't like him for I'll you. They you know. like him for Andrew, his charm. You've, you've lobbed me up in a non-podcast comedy way. But not I'm good. I'm a good Great. wingman. But I'm just speaking facts. It but am I a good wingman or am I not? Akash is better. Wow. I'm, ah, I'm legitimately wow. one of the best wingmen ever. Wow. I can't believe that that's real. Wow. Mark's the worst, Mark, is the worst. Mark is the worst. Mark is the worst. Mark, Mark is, is, Mark is an actual piece of shit. I'm just a bird, bro. <laughs> Mark is an the bird. actual <laughs> You don't need a wing, bro. I'm just a bird. <laughs> son, Mark is know, an actual rain. bad son, son, son. Can I tell the story? I gotta tell the story. <laughs> so we, went rain, down, baby. we went down to do a show in Philly. Dove took a girl down to Philly to go watch the show, right? Yeah. Yeah. The girl this gets a, a ride back to New York with Mark, because yep. Dove's such a cheap fuck, he don't want to pay for her Uber back to New York, yep. right? So gets a ride back to it with Mark, never talks to Dove again. <laughs> <laughs> Something <laughs> happened, so Dove just goes, Mark, what were you talking to this girl about that made her decide that she never <laughs> needs to see me again? So, so I bet you the opposite talk. of women. I man. bet they still talk. Just no. platonically, of course, just but no I bet way. they still you know, maintain a friendship. Nine, bro. yeah, yeah, not not happening. I'm friends so. with Dub friends, bro. That's all. This <laughs> yeah, that. What was the other one? <laughs> she did hit me up a month. Dub brought later. a girl uh, into yeah, the studio. I mean, bro. unbelievable. Oh yeah, Dub brought a girl into the studio. Yeah, and then I Very come in, and the way Mark and her are chatting, I assume she's like about to get a job here because they're just having a formal, lengthy discussion. And then I talked to Dove, and he's like, yeah, I brought her here after a date. And then Mark has been talking to her for two hours. One-on-one, <laughs> -on -one, he goes, I just had to leave. That's yeah, the worst wingman ever. He left the room, he ever, left the room and they were just talking. Like, just chatting. The it's, worst wingman, worst. Just chatting. And okay. it's just so shitty because you're a great husband and you have no interest in these women. And you just still talk to them and waste everyone's time. Just yeah. chatting. We're just chatting. It's so, it's well, why so you gotta shitty, chat dude. in a way where it, nobody gets pissed? It like yeah. actually bothers chatting. me. Just chatting, bro. Why, what's wrong <laughs> with really the guy just chatting, dude? But how do you find a way to talk everybody out of pussy? What are you yeah. talking like, about, bro? You not getting pussy, like, he not getting like, pussy. If I ain't getting nothing, nobody no, that's is that's what he's really doing. What that's what he's doing. Are you saying Dove really can't close? That's are you it. saying Dove can't close? Not with you. Wow. You're, say, you're saying Dove can't close. Ipor Besuno! Ipor Besuno! Are you going to let him say that about you? Yo, that's crazy. Because I say you're a closer. I say you're a closer. Yeah, so nothing that I do could get in the way of you. Mariano Rivera right I was about to say that. But what Mark does now is what you started doing in college when you turned a psychology major and after you read the game. What yeah, I did, he got pussy though. <laughs> he did. Yeah. His friends so around what him. Mark does is just. But that's why it's worse when Mark does it. Hold on, hold on. You don't think that I was opening up the door for them to him to go all Oh, uh, so he went and got no pussy without you, is what you say? I helped him. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. So I helped him. Wow. Wow. We had, hey, we had hey, no hey, riz back hey, in college. Eat, 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 eat,
So Damn. He said you didn't have no Riz in college. So so my I, Riz was crazy <laughs> in college. <laughs> I, I had suspenders. I had no Riz back in college. I had you. all sorts of things that they never about. served Oh, God forbid else. I try to get some pussy from me. Suspenders? <laughs> Time, whatever. He had a top whatever. hat, bro. You were the Six Flags That's guy? He had a monocle. Whatever. You were the Six Flags monocle. guy, bro. Monocle. He coming to the bar. Monocle. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. The more Baseball things caps. that they could talk about, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? If you walk and put, talk about one thing, yeah. gotcha. But it's, it's that it's simple. True. I need Dove. Fuck, I need yeah. Dove. He yeah. said you needed him. He had props, He's saying, he saying. You crazy, bro. I, I had teardrop tattoos. I had teardrop tattoos. My man was the you think I need Dove My man was the carrot top of picking up Yes, bro. What's in the box? Bro, he was like, me. Bro. <laughs> That's who's in the box? Me. He was like a souk. He was in the souk, bro. He's just slinging wares. That's it. Oh, John, 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 here. John, Why oh, Dub want me to do too much work to get him and me pussy, bro? It's yeah, like, yeah. she got a friend. The girl I'm talking to got a friend. Some lonely ass girl needs you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, so why said, can you just I not hung be out here in the basket world? And he just kept throwing you alleys. That's no, what it sounds like. I feel like Al is translating really well right now. I'm just saying, I got You're you, translating though. it perfectly. I don't ain't getting no pussy motherfuckers selling cable packages. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh, they got the free shadows, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yo, you had to free channel oh, your way into pussy. Hell yeah. Ooh, I'll give you some HBO. <laughs> you did magic tricks, you come bro. <laughs> you did magic tricks. That's not magic. Abracadabra. Here's Showtime. He's never seen him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I upgraded him to that triple package, baby. <laughs> I'm just Those saying, are, like, bro. That's you was paying for pussy. No. Yup. They were paying me for pussy. No. Yeah. No, because giving now them the I packages, giving like, them the I packages sold them means you can't get the money. They, I made money off them and got pussy. No, because if you give them the package, so you making less money. What you you paying for pussy? I was a gigolo, Yo, bro. You used to I was pay. a gigolo. <laughs> <laughs> I can teach you something. That's crazy. <laughs> I can teach you something. <laughs> this I, is crazy. We just proved your riz right now. We really find this out right now that your riz was paying money. Wow. Ton. They paid me. Bro, they paid me. You're a square. <laughs> you a square, bro. Blue square, right? I didn't up. know. I didn't know. Blue square, right? Up. We yeah, out here. We out here. You know what? I didn't now, help know. me on this one. Help me on this one because he got me on the corner. Know, Mad, girl. <laughs> Mad girls watch Sopranos because they sucked Al off. Isn't Yo, that crazy? Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Wait, what? They watch Sopranos because they sucked you off. Because they wow, sucked okay. you off. They got to watch HBO. Thing? Is that a bad thing? I'm saying. You got a lot of people on that show. I mean, it's a great show, so thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah, I was making me and I was telling them they were <laughs> All I'm trying to say is you pay for pussy, bro. That shit is sad. Come on, son. That shit is Come fucking on, sad, like, bro. That's all you got? <laughs> Come on. When you went out? I'm waiting for this motherfucker to step up. I got him off you and you can't even give me a little, where's my alley? Yo, <laughs> where's my alley? exhausted. Love <laughs> is exhausted right now. You go to Morocco God. once 36 hours, get your ass brutalized in negotiations, <laughs> and now you just tired? That was rough, dude. Lying. Okay, no, I felt like I saw a hero fall. Can now we talk about lying. this? Okay, so Dove was an absolute all-star when we were in a souk, and he is like in his element. Oh. He's negotiating with everybody. He loves to walk away from these motherfuckers. Mm. Keep in mind, these motherfuckers been drinking mint tea since they're three years old. They got no teeth. Yep. Teeth rotten like crazy. Corn nuts. The whole mouth is corn nuts. <laughs> and, and, and Dove is still grinding these motherfuckers, them, bro. bro. Yeah. I mean, he got a price. To, they would come up 1,000 Durham, right? Yeah. And he's trying to buy a flag in this particular negotiation. I was just trying to buy a flag. 1,000 Durham. 1,000 Durham for a Moroccan flag. Yeah. Dove comes in, dude. Hot. These people live in huts, that. bro. Dove, Dove grew old. up in Beverly Hills. These people grew up in huts. They Huts, said, bro. They said, we'll do 600. Dove was like, I'm not doing that. They said, okay, fine, 500. Dove goes, I'm not doing, going Walks below. away. Yeah. Then they, they chased him. They said, what do you want? He says, 350. I'm not going any Durham above 350. They say, we can't do that. We'll lose money. He says, okay, well, then it is what it is. Walks away again. Everybody starts walking. They chase us down 100 feet, and they're like, hey, we'll give you your flag. For so 350 is essentially $35, Okay grinding a man down. 65% off what he asked. It, it didn't help that you were the worst wingman in the negotiation. Why? Why? Because the you were bargaining for the guy. You I thought it was good quality. You were bargaining for the guy. I thought it was good quality. I touched <laughs> it. I was like, this guy is more than 35 and comes in and goes, no, no, I gotta go up. Gotta go up. As soon as, and it's Andrew's Beautiful. flag, which is funny. He's I thought it was good. I thought Just, the flag was nice quality. I, I wanted to respect the country we're in. I want to undercut him for a flag. This guy, I was working with them. I was on their side. I was actually trying to destroy Dove because I don't want him to save any money and make him feel good about himself. 
This is nice material. Yeah. This is why are you this is 600. This is 600. 500 no. No, too too little. Too little. 600. Just to try to cock that with women too, bro. 100%. Just yeah, he's he's Mark Wingmanning right now. Some girl's talking to Dove and Andrew comes in and goes, "This guy? That's what you do. You can do better than this guy. What about that guy? That's what you do." I'm not going to lie. I have done that. I have done that, bro. I did come on and I would observe him with my monocle. I'm like, "Are you sure?" Look at him She's like, like, thank yeah, God a detective is here. This, this is so good. This is this is really good. <laughs> anyway, so Dub got to pay $35 for this shit, right? It's for him, not for me. It ain't yeah. even my flag. It was for one shit okay. that he wanted, okay. right? So he got to pay $35. So he pays him with two $20 bills. Mm -hmm. American yes. 20s. You can pay with American out here because the boys are here. Mm -hmm. Everybody except American. Mm -hmm. Remember that world? Mm. <laughs> You don't got currency. Finally, you coming back. What Shit. do you mean you coming back? Uh, you know your you, boy's American all nah, day. You switched, okay. up, with the song you switched up a little bit. Yo, 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 yo. What colors am I wearing right now? Mm, okay. Red, white, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, okay. I like that. Hey. I like that. All right. Mm. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so 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 we get <laughs> so Dove gives him two twenty dollar bills American, right? We walk away. Dove is on cloud nine. Yeah. Mm. He just broke this midget Moroccan guy's <laughs> yeah. back. Yeah. The guy is four feet nine inches tall. Yeah. He didn't get nutrients as a kid. No nutrients. At I was talking about his children. No tea. He goes, he goes go 50, 50 dirham. I want to so. give him children. 50 dirham and just because of you guys. You want to tip all these guys. Yeah. Give him a tip afterwards. Dove's eat. walking away. His strut is <laughs> so, different. Did you give him a tip? Did you give him a tip? So, Bro, Dove, somebody, Dove's tip is good. Toothbrush. That's a tip. That's it. No, no, no. After I get my price, I give him something on top and I say thank no, you. you. No, 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 you're, you're taking you my thing. You this guy's so a piece you, of shit. You're, you're a fucking liar, you're a son of a bitch. Tipper. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. <laughs> We're gonna go back. Oh, he's gonna. You're mad. You're mad. I cock blocked him. Really? Listen. This guy. Let's Come go on. back to the story. Prix on sur Amazon. Qu'est-ce que tu veux? 350. Le final. 480. Non, non, non. 480. Demain on vient. Okay. Just walking away, I'm in my element, I love it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so we leave it. I am. Okay? <laughs> we go back. Dove has paid the $40. We, we're down the souk. People from the souk are coming up to him to sell him other shit, and he's just Heisman. He goes, yeah. no. No, no, French, no, no, no. He was no, walking, no, he was walking no. like a ball. No, 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 no. Right? He's just so, it's like that, there's that, uh, what is it, Saturday Night Fever music. Yeah. Oh, you can tell yeah, by the yeah, way yeah, I yeah, do yeah, my yeah. walk that I'm lazy. Yeah. Yeah. Know how to talk. You can tell. Anyway, we know none of them words. So, all of a sudden, the dude that he sold the shit from comes back with a $20 bill, the American $20 bill in his hand, right? Runs back. Well, what is this? Well, what is this? This does not work. This does not work. So Dove goes, what you mean it doesn't work? Now, in that moment, he's accusing Dove of using fake currency. What? He's holding up to the light and shit. Dove just starts to freak out. Do you, anyone have 200 on them and they'll take this? So I go, in that moment, I'm like, I thought that my friend was a piece of shit. <laughs> but I didn't think it's possible for my friend to go to his home country <laughs> with fake American dollars and buy things from the midgets with no teeth yep. that are trying to provide, eke out a lifestyle for their families I, and, and negotiate down. <laughs> Just give him a thousand fake. <laughs> the fact that he wouldn't even give him a thousand face, all fake is zero. The fact that you thought this about one of your oldest Bro, friends. One of, one of my best friends in the entire world. <laughs> my best friends in the entire world. He's literally the fucking rabbi at my wedding. Right? In that moment, I'm like, I get why they kicked him out of every country. <laughs> like, everything felt justified in that moment, right? And then all of a sudden, Dove takes out another 20, gives it to the guy. For some reason, this fucking guy trusts the new 20. It came from Akash. Yeah, oh, it came from Akash. Whatever. Yeah. Gives Brown it back guy, to him. Brown guy, yeah. money. Al goes, oh, shit, he got him. Mm -hmm. I turn to Al, I go, mm -hmm. what you mean he got him? What? What do you mean? Dove tried to give him a fake 20 and he got him? He goes, nah, they got Dove. I go, why the fuck they got Dove? Al goes, they switched out their 20s for a fake 20 mm -hmm. and came back and made Dove give them another real 20. Mm -hmm. They got you. No, no. Oh, they got you. Oh, they got you twice. They so I got came him. back running. That was one of the craziest things ever. So now Dove, 
who thought he was gonna pay $35, really paid $55. We start laughing at Dove, oh, you just got bodied in negotiation. You know what this motherfucking piece of shit goes? It was Akash who gave him the $20. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a horrible negotiator. That's what you get, you got body, bro. Bent over, rinsed out. Hold on, I got some Berber boner powder if you want to get that shit again. You want some? <laughs> Did you ever get that 20 back? No, this guy is no, son of a no, bitch. No, yeah. no. Did actually, you have a nice 36 hours here's in Morocco. <laughs> Yo, Duff swears he's doing us a favor by here's doing his job. Here's what actually happened. No, he gets cock blocked one time. You missed that the they ran guy. it back. Like, no, no, they, no, no. He tried to run yeah. it back. We didn't do that. that no, they came back again, and then Duff gave him 200 or gave him 200 Durham. Yeah. yeah. So you got fleeced twice. Twice, yeah. fleeced twice bro. He got fleeced twice. Nah, bro. Pull out the 20 he gave you. Pull out the 20. Nah, bro. Pull out the 20. Do you still have it? I didn't get fleeced. I fleeced the Indian guy in support of my Moroccan brothers. Wow. No, because then you gave him 200 of your Durham, they and then he gave me. Mine either. And then he gave me the second counterfeit 20, and I spent both them shits. It's like my dick, Wow. <laughs> hey, I spent the same amount from the start. It's some of your money, but it's back in the system. Wow. No, you didn't spend. You spent an extra 200 Durham of who? from your money. It was fake money. I never had Durham. I kept on taking Durham from Mark. Yeah, isn't that convenient? Oh, what a, a bitch? dude! Wow. That, you're the worst person than Mark. Yeah. Thank real you. Cash. The guy the whole time. Oh, does anybody have cash? Every yeah. every taxi we go. Does anyone have cash? I just brought underwear. Every hey, restaurant. I just, <laughs> they have no, cash. three days uh, worth yeah, of clothes. Yeah, just underwear. Proper, proper I just can't. Unbelievable. Believe I let them get you with that. shit. And he twice, gave me the fake bro. 20s. He goes, Oh, here you go, Mark. Fake 20s. Did you use it? No, bro. It's fake. Nah, come on. How dare you? Because the first 20, I right, maybe it was a fluke. But they ran the same game on you twice, and you fell for it. <laughs> like, yeah, that's disrespectful. It. That's I disrespectful. <laughs> you did fall for he it. He said it after the first time. Hey, Take it. Hey, it's can you tell him the system. cherry on top of this whole story about flag that? purchases? What happened? Is as we're walking back to the uh, the Riyadh, we see another flag. Andrew buys the same exact flag Dove that's has same. for 150 dirham. No. I'm a better negotiator. And what I do, what you try to take, I negotiate down because they like the game, and then I just give them the original no, price no, that's that they what wanted I was doing. afterwards. I already said that a couple minutes ago. Go to the tapes. Never have I been more angry at you. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> never well, have I been masterful. I know, I love masterful. Keep going with that. Never masterful. will Dove look at your single. Just a look penny. at your single. <laughs> Never will Doug Tell pay them. a penny Thank you, bro. more. I invented catch and release. I catch and release with the souk workers. They give me a price. I negotiate down. We agree on the lower price. And then I give them the full price anyway because why am I negotiating with these people who need the money? I'm a good person. I'm a good person who goes to Morocco and wants to put money in the Moroccan economy. Not fake $20 bills like you, son of a bitch. <laughs> Tried to steal my goddamn e How dare he, bro? That's crazy. How dare he? Listen, we got a that lot of money nice. for flags and jerseys and jalabas. And uh, you had a good time. Yo, it was good. My cock blocking is not so bad anymore. You notice that, right? I'm the Dexter of wingmanning. That's what I do. Son, I kill the bad guys. Son, Dove was getting so fucking annoyed at Al. So here's the thing about Al. <laughs> Al, I do this trick. I is, didn't this drive. Thing about Al. No, no, you if, fucked up. If Al, here's the thing about Al. Al is, um, is, a, is a self-starter. Like, he can do most things by himself. <laughs> He really can. Stuff. <laughs> no, no, you like, I'm like. Stuff. I'm throw some I, was shit out I was trying to finish this sentence. I'm throw, just saying. Al out. can figure out most things. Yeah, like if, yeah. if you just go, out, you put him in a room. Like Al, I need you to figure out how to fix an air conditioning. Al will go on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll figure out <laughs> an air conditioning. Whatever. Out. Very if true. you do one thing for Al, he will never do that thing again and rely on you to do that thing forever. <laughs> yeah. So Bro. he became <laughs> completely he quadriplegic. I'm By the learning, end of the I'm fucking day, he, at one point he goes, he goes, he we're at a dinner, we're at a dinner, and he goes, Dove, um, could you ask the waiter for some salt? <laughs> <laughs> they speak English in the restaurant. Yeah, everybody speaks English. The waiters Bro. all look the same. Doug just goes. I'm off duty. <laughs> I'm off duty. Al. It was what is wild. This? I don't wild. know who speaks English or not and shit. Like salt. Yeah, but salt. he was having fun, like showing off. He speaks French and shit. Like he was having so <laughs> Yo, much fun. Your French is nice. Like, How was my French? It was um, incredible. Was That's nice, why I was though. like, I wanted to Your give you opportunities nice. okay. to keep you using it. it. Now it's okay. Yeah. I didn't know Marx. Good French. I didn't know Marx wasn't good until I heard yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> I thought Marx was good. You were speaking like Thank you, bro. His French is like his nah, soccer knowledge, bro. Like <laughs> yeah, it's the same. Was... <laughs> <laughs> it's like well, I, as long as there's no French people around, my French is amazing. Yeah, exactly. was incomplete sentences. The waiters. Yeah. I swear, there's multiple. He would times. talk to them. They would look at him a little confused. Like, multiple times, they're like, "What?" Because that's their second language. Doug comes in and like clear. They're not that strong with French. This is their second language. Exactly. That's why I asked him. He said like, "Order it." Tequila for Shifty. It's okay. Shifty was legal in Morocco. And I'm like, well, what? Tequila. That's how you say tequila in yeah, Morocco. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're from your waiter. Codependence. Dove, dove me again on a bed, bro. 
What? Yeah. Remember when we first get to the Riyadh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's, a, there's an extra single <laughs> that's room. That's the whole thing happened. <laughs> that's that's extra that's whole single thing room. Happened. So Dove immediately is on it trying to get this single room to himself. He didn't realize that once he gets the single room, the double that me and him would have to share becomes a single uh, as well. Becomes a single for me. So when I realized that, I was like, all right, cool. Once I point that out to him, he's like, no, 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 no. I'm taking that room. I was like, no, you just went so hard to get this single room. You got it. Everybody agreed that you got it. And then once I pointed that out, you're like, no, 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 I'm going to this room. I was like, but Dove, is that's not fair. He's like, we're here for 36 hours. Is that not fair? Some bullshit that he booked the trip. And I was no, like, no. you Dove, got it. Dove, Dove wants extra special treatment for doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah. Like, like yeah. He's that's the, way no, worse than no, my no, shit. He's I supposed to book it. He's the producer. He's supposed to produce the trip. Yeah. And he'd be telling me throughout the trip, you're like, does anybody care that I did this? No! <laughs> I'm supposed to be funny on the trip. You're supposed to produce the trip. These are the roles. I don't go to everybody, hey, 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 can I get some appreciation? I was funny. Bro, when, bro. Shifty turned on the goddamn and fucking tell. We're not asking for appreciation. For the room. Hey, Every out, out. goddamn day. Out, it's a tequila for Shifty. Can you just order it? No. That, that's how you know this guy's a bad tipper. That's how you know. That's how you know. <laughs> That's how you know. Him. Terrible right? Him. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Him. I agree. Him. Hold on. Go ahead. Oh, you, want a, you want something extra for bringing the plate? <laughs> oh, you brought me the whole plate. Why? I paid for the plate. You want something extra? Son. Come on, son. You want something extra? I got to show gratitude for you doing your job. <laughs> 20% extra gratitude. Hey, let me tell you something. You do your job. Let me tell you something. Y'all gonna make me a bad tip. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me lean in. Y'all gonna make me lean in and just know it's their fault. Just know that. It's their fault. He just, notice he just needs an excuse to not. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, notice, that. notice that. Notice that. Finally. <laughs> anyway, this is thing. You guys don't, this is the thing. You guys don't know about Dove. Dove is the most he was selfless <laughs> person who will want to make sure everybody has the greatest time no matter where they mm -hmm. go. And he did. As long as Dove is comfortable. So the goal is, when, when we do travel or anything with Dove is, just make sure he's settled and comfortable first. Because once that happens, th his heart will pour out to make sure everybody has everything that they possibly want. Is yes. that a fair thing? They go at the same time, but yeah, <laughs> close, close. At least if we get that situated, then you can focus on making the best thing. He's calling everybody. He's making sure we have the best nightlife, the best restaurants. He took care of us. He took care of us in the most amazing way possible. So I know that. So when I get to a place, I'm looking at what the best room is. I'm making sure Dove can't have that. <laughs> and then just annoying him for like a good hour and a half. That's usually how but I that's wanted not to I was wondering, you know, it took like 20 minutes deciding room, and yeah. I was like, this Well, is no, because I got to calculate what game he's running. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's the problem. I got to think. I'm like, what this motherfucker up yeah. to, right? Yeah. So I kind of watch him look at rooms, and now I know he knows that I'm watching him. Yeah. So he's been yeah. looking at rooms like, ooh, this is a beautiful yeah. one. Uh, I ain't falling for that. You got to listen to all You just try to fake 20. You know what I mean? I'm not going to fall for the fake 20. Here's the thing. Yeah. You're, you're priced and out of this. got me. You're priced he out of this. He tried to do this to me once. He tried to go, ooh, this bathroom is amazing. You see the bathroom in this one? I ain't going to shower. I'm here 36 hours. Who uses the goddamn bathroom, no? shower? Okay, go, go. No, no, no. I, now you're priced out of that. So you can't be in this group. I'll tell you what you just said. I do that with these guys. Oh, I know you do. Okay, I did that absolutely. with Al. So, Al, look at your single. Do you have a single? No. But <laughs> if you did, <laughs> if you did, <laughs> That. I did that to you. I wanted the room that I got, and yeah. I got the room that I wanted, and I didn't need okay, a move. Dub. But you did get a single your first night. Okay, Dub. Tap it. <laughs> yo, yo notice, Dub is a savage. Notice, that's crazy, bro. Notice Dub truffled himself a single. Oh, that's that's awesome. I know, right? That's crazy. Bro. By the way, <laughs> ooh. I want to renegotiate this. This is too profile. You were like facing it. it directly, and then we started talking that shit, and you had to turn over to the boys. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Hanukkah Dove. Yeah. Happy Hanukkah. And, and we're, we're Fuck Hanukkah. Remember when? <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, say it again. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, leave no, it no. in. Leave it in. Leave it in. You really look like you just got out of prison, bro. Your full nation of Islam. <laughs> you see that? Say what you're talking about. <laughs> nah, the beanie. Nah, no, it's the beanie. Yeah, 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 and the glasses like you've been reading and you finally got your GED. Oh, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Malcolm X with it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and then we got back to the Medina, and then we watched it. And then you got recognized. Oh yeah, I got, I got. You can recognize everywhere. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to the, the the motherfuckers out there in Morocco. We got some, we got some supporters out there in Morocco. With the funniest guy alive. Let's do it. Dave Chappelle. <laughs>
Would you like to take a look at my store? Good. You should bring Joe here. That would be so cool, well, man. I'm a big fan, by the way. If you, Joe, the whole... Uh, you got good taste. The whole group. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, taste, guys. Man. So, I would like to show you that, if you've seen. What is that? My some powerful shit. God damn, bro. What's this? This is the mint. The mint crystals. That's crazy. So it's really good. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> that and is... Milk. What is that? Herber Viagra. What is, I can't do don't, it right don't, now. Don't, don't. Something. Is this for, Mark? It's for erection. Oh. This one, you buy it, and then you buy a jalaba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take that one too, that one yeah. too, that one. Just six guys on a trip, dude. Some Berber Viagra, what could go wrong? I ain't trying, I left that shit there. I don't trust that shit. You, you left it? Yeah. Come Yo, on, what was the I'm one about that to was bring hot. fucking white powder across the border from Morocco. <laughs> Bruh. 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 I mean, good point, but bruh. Thank you. He could have brought the boner yeah. shit. Yeah, bring the boner shit, dude. Yeah, that looks like a spice. Yeah, yeah, the boner shit maybe I should have done. Whatever, we'll get back out there tomorrow. Yeah, we could have had days. it with breakfast, bro. That'd be awesome. Son, it is true. When you got spices that were like, like I believe in every one of them spices. Like after, because he was making us breathe some shit that like cleared our sinuses and all this yeah, other dude. stuff. I don't know if this shit works or not, but you felt a little change yeah. initially. And I was like, yo, pharmaceuticals are bullshit. <laughs> all you need is that. <laughs> he was crunching up pepper or whatever. Yes. Yeah. And it was changing me. I could breathe. Yeah. You remember it? I remember yeah. that. He put it in everybody's crazy. nostrils yeah. and then mine. I was Except like, you could have done me <laughs> a little early. You didn't have to wait till I go last. Because nah, you remember he, he had that one in the thing and he like put it up in your nose? Yeah, yeah. He did me last. I was like, I don't know why you had to do me last. I got to sniff all these motherfuckers' noses too? <laughs> then bother y'all just putting your shit in everybody's nose? Yo, do we sniff his sinus infection? No, bro. Probably, man. Is Mark sick again? I'm not yes. sick. He's sick. No, yeah. you sound great, dude. What about me sounds sick? His Mother mute taste is garbage. Mother sound fucker. great. Your clown red How sinus you uh, with a garbage. Inflammation it's because you put me in the back of the plane, bro. We were all supposed to get first class seats with the healthy people, and you put me in the fucking back. Why were we all supposed to get first class seats? <laughs> because we're a squad, bro. We pluribus unum, dog. That's us. <laughs> that was us, remember? Nah, Out of many, one gets business class, <laughs> yeah, and then the rest, I mean, where they sit. He pluribus unum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that shit works. I was next to a sick guy. That's Al's, what Al's business class. Yeah, yeah. yeah I really should have you that. upgrade. Yeah, really Sorry, we're walking that. in, and all of a sudden, Al got a post on his Instagram story within thirty <laughs> seconds. <laughs> There's was no Wi-Fi in the, the plane. plane. How did you do that? That's how I had to beat it. Within thirty seconds of sitting in a first class seat, immediately upload. Then they kicked his ass out. He went back to economy. I know. You guys missed it. You and Akash got on the plane. Shifty and I are standing over here. We're about to board. Alex is with us. All of a sudden, <laughs> he just disappears, and I see him at the counter. Of He had already worked out his upgrade. It was clean as fuck the How way much? he Because he didn't tell nobody. How much? He didn't I tell... Like seven. What about? 700. Yeah. Maybe maybe I would have so paid worth that it. as well. Oh, yeah, that so, was so, so worth it. So worth That's it. fair. Like, I didn't know that that, that was something fucking... he was working on after all the things. He just... Wait. He's upset at you did, did I for not down? telling... Yo! Oh! Alex. Shit! Oh. Alex, hold on. Oh. Alex, <laughs> do you realize that Dove booked the whole trip? <laughs> did you know that? Why Wait. didn't you tell him since he booked the whole yeah, trip? Yeah, shit. Why didn't I tell him Why didn't that? you tell him, bro? Why That's you fucked me? up. <laughs> that is fucked up here, bro. It's, he it's booked crazy the whole that trip. you could have booked yourself. Self no, on this no, no, I had to book upgrade for everyone. But it was already upgrades. booked, so why don't you just get that upgrade? Yeah. No, I went through our travel Were you afraid of losing another negotiation? <laughs> wow. I went through our travel coordinator. By the wow. way, I'll put it on your credit card. So <laughs> no, that's right. It, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Stop it. Like, sorry. <laughs> Yo, this is why you lie on people. Yeah, I know, right? You get, he just because bad because he got liars. truffled. <laughs> liar <laughs> number one. <laughs> you bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. He just actually lied. believes that. You just lied right there. I know. The now nobody's going to believe you about anything, especially my strategy. Yeah. You're going yeah. to call your accountant no. right after this podcast. Dove the stallion, bro. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, so then we go to watch the game. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Kid Super shows up. Oh, yeah. Kid Super shows up. We go back in the soup. We get garbed the fuck up. Yeah. Yep. All out here in the road. We all get the jalabas. We got the jalabas or the jalabas, whatever the fuck it's called. I brought one outfit. Jaleba. So I probably need a garb. Yeah. And then we need way more Moroccan merch than what we have currently. Whichever one you have six of. How much is he asking for? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, you'll pay more. What's your price? Your price, not my price. Oh, très bien. Ça coûte combien? 300 secondes. No, no, 500. 
Ok, c'est ouais. bon. Ouais, ouais, hold on, hold on. Ouais, ouais, ouais. He's the best tipper in the game, you don't know? Ah. 350, but we'll pay 500 per because Morocco. I did say more. Because he's the best tipper oh, in the game. Great. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on right now? <laughs> I was working with them. I was on their side. I was actually trying to destroy Dove because I don't want him to save any money and make him feel good about himself. You played yourself. Did you I know? play myself? You're the best, though. How much? Uh, I'm 425 is good? 300 is good. Uh, 300 for good luck. Okay, well, no, I'm supposed to go under. Sorry. 200. We're already 250. wearing it. I don't think we have much leverage. 250. Okay. I'll show you leverage. Please. <laughs> Please. No, no, don't beg. Don't Please. beg. Please. No, no. How much? Look. Look. Oh. Yesterday it was 100 each. Where Two of them. Yeah. 200. No, no, mate. Normal, I will start with you for 400 to find the three. I got it yesterday for 100. I go to the other guy. It's okay. It's okay. Schultz walked away. We didn't think it was going to happen. And then the guy said, sir. For the good luck. For the good luck. Oh. This is how it's done. We make good business. Yeah. Not good, good business if you give me $100 for this too. I will see you wow. oh. oh, my friend, you're famous. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am Captain America. We're looking absolutely beautiful. Mark calls me Captain America. I thought that was a great pun. Yeah, that was great. That's you, bro. We all go out to watch the game. Torrential downpour. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's never rained in Morocco in, in the history wild, of windy. The country. Never one time has never. it rained. Never. I thought it was a desert. It was, and it wind. Ridiculous snakes flying everywhere, monkeys going <laughs> yeah. fucking crazy. It's like Wizard of Oz. Wizard yeah. of Oz S yeah. wins. It's like Jumanji. Yeah. Joe, no. and we had book seats. It's this huge outdoor plaza. There's one little balcony thing where you can get seats. We found front row seats on the balcony. We're gonna watch the but game. Also, front row seats to what though? It, to the back to the plaza. But but where's the game? Where's the it's game? on a projector. On the other right. side of the square, I, this big. Come on, I son. It's about football, that when son. they were talking about it, I was like, yo, we're gonna be kind of far from yeah, this shit. Right? I thought that shit, I was like, nah, let me not ruffle feathers. But I should have said something. <laughs> we get well, <laughs> we got know. fucked on that one. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah, we yeah. got fucked. No, we had a backup option, which you wanted so you can get an overhead view to shoot if there were forty thousand people in the square. That's also true. Mm -hmm. It was a good it was good planning until producing, hurricane. Having a backup. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, <laughs> but where did we end up watching it? Right in front of the giant screen. But uh, listen, so we go watch a game, torrential downpours. Second half, it miraculously stops raining. Yeah, amazing. Morocco is playing absolutely unbelievable. Um, unbelievable. Losing one nothing, but kind still, of a lucky goal. Lucky ass goal six minutes into the game. Whatever. Mm -hmm. The people in the square start to fill in. Yeah. The energy in the square is crazy. Everyone watching it, all over. Dominating. Yeah. This right side of the ball. This guy Hakimi. God bless him, Hakimi. Yeah. So, good. so fucking good. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got everybody on lock. Yeah. Great shots on goal, nonstop. Shots on goal, shots on goal, shots on goal. Cannot convert. Mark, what the fuck happened? I don't know. I don't know. Morocco was playing out of their minds. Amazing game. First, Outplayed France. I think one of the first times the African team made it to the semifinals. The first, the first one that yep. made it. The first Arab country to make, well, Arab? I don't know what Arab nation it. is what I heard. Berbers. I heard. They're Berbers. No, They're Berbers. They, Moroccans like to be called. African, North African. Well, the first North African and the first Muslim country. First Maghrebis, that's for sure. Facts. Mm -hmm. Maghrib. Dima Maghrib. <laughs> My point is, we, we went there for this underdog story. It did not end up happening. And if every time you followed an underdog, they succeeded, then they wouldn't be underdogs, would they? Yeah. No. But we're going to keep following these fucking underdogs. We're going to keep rooting for the impossible. Mm-hmm because it is so sensational, and the energy is amazing around it, and I'm really glad that we went. It sucks that we didn't get the exact result, yeah. but maybe, maybe, maybe it's not about the results. It's about the friends you make along the way. There you go. It's about the journey, Al. That was beautiful. The adventure. It's that about the adventure, man. We out here for the adventure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro. Hey, Duff. <laughs> Duff, let's do a shot, Duff. <laughs> Duff, can we do a little, can we do a little shot ski? Come on. Come on. Shouts to Jaeger. Yo, also, I, I do want to say this, right? Because, listen. This is, hold on a second. Oh, shit. Fuck. Come on, bro. My bad. Okay, I do want to say this shit because... We've had Jaeger here on the on the podcast. You never seen Jaeger, you know, displayed like that. And we were talking to we were talking to Jaeger, right? And you know, they were saying that they want to do some stuff with us. Now, Jaeger sponsored this adventure that we mm -hmm, went yes. on to in Morocco. They've actually asked me not to say that they did, mm -hmm. but I do want to say I do want to talk about why 
why it's important that we say what they did. Um, they really just wanted this to be organic. They want to just put the fucking bottle right there. And what I'm doing right now might breach contract, but we'll work on that with them. <laughs> but uh, but what I think it's really important because when we were talking to Jaeger um, and Colum, Kid Super, yep. is sponsored by Jaeger. And he was the one who was like, yo, you got to see these guys. They have this crazy idea. They want to go to Qatar, et cetera. I've never worked with a company that has given so much creative wiggle room and control to myself or our group mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Literally the day of, we don't even have it confirmed. Yeah. We switched the plans. Yeah. Originally we were just gonna do a watch party here yeah. Yeah. and they wanted to sponsor it. And we literally said to them, yo, we got a crazy idea. We want to go on adventures. That's what the fuck this podcast is about. We like taking, not a fuck that, but we would like taking these moments to go have these incredible experiences. And we want to switch it from a live stream. We want to go to fucking Morocco. Are you down to do it? You know how many positions there are on the corporate chain that you have to get, you know, a, a, a confirmation from, approval from constantly? Like, they just came back and immediately just said, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's important to point that out because ideally we deliver an incredible product. Ideally you guys, you know, fuck with it. But I loved working with a company that just lets us make cool shit. And I yeah. think that we made a way cooler thing. Mm -hmm. A live stream would have been great. We would have done something awesome. But it's different than going to Africa for 36 fucking hours yep. yeah. and being part of this amazing adventure. So I, generally speaking, I would, you know, just put them here and have the, uh, what is it called when you just have it? Product placement. placement. Yeah, do the product placement. But I want to compliment them and their their employees and just the people there that like really just are investing in creators. Even like, invest it. It, yeah, it's like, it was really cool to do these things. And I hope that we have delivered something that blows them away. Yeah. I really, I really do hope that because I want to continue doing these adventures. We're going to continue doing them no matter what. The reality is, is we were on our way to fucking Morocco, not knowing if they were going to say yes or not. Mm -hmm. And then we landed because remember, there's no internet. We're buying these tickets. We're out. And then we don't have the, on the plane, there's seven hours where we're like, are we paying for this? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then landing to that confirmation is just fucking cool. And I just really salute them. I think it's awesome that they do it. And I hope more brands do that. And I hope we can blow these things up in a way that other brands go, hey, maybe we got to let creators create. Yeah. I hope that letting creators create makes the brand more popular and then other brands start going, hey, let's stop getting in the way. So much yeah. red tape and like executives giving notes and shit. They're yeah. Like, no, go. Have they, fun. they literally told me not to do this. I just want to point this yeah. out right now. So maybe this is the best way to start the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact thing. They're like, we don't want to be too forced. We don't want you to ask. Like, we just want to be organic. But I do think that this is the most authentic way to put it. I think yeah. it was so fucking cool that they did this. Yeah. So And the stuff they do with Kid Super is sick, too. It's awesome. Like, if you don't know Kid Super, obviously, he's like a fashion designer, artist, creative guy in New York, like from New York. It just makes the sickest Super stuff. Super talent, yeah. And they are sponsoring him to make a space. It's amazing. It's amazing out there in Brooklyn. Matter of fact, if you'd like to know more about Kid Super... Look at this. What's up, everybody? It's Captain America here in Morocco. Your boy Schultz. We we're just in New York doing a podcast, but we we're lucky enough to have one of my favorite creatives, one of the great New York creative minds. We got Kid Super, not in the motherfucking building, in the motherfucking Riyadh. And uh, we're out here watching the games together, and I thought that it was only right that we give some of the people at home a little glimpse into the genius that is Kid Super. I'm saying all these great things about him. Please do not uh, be embarrassed when I say it. Make sure you hold that fucking mic up to your <laughs> mouth. These are our microphones. We are doing it. Third world. It's third world right now. We're keeping it very third world with our first world cell phones. Uh, Kid Super, you're the fucking man. Thank you so much for being out here with us. Uh, three flights. Right? Three flights to get here. We, 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 we call him. He's in Brazil. And we say, we're going to the Morocco-France game in Morocco. Actually, I will give you credit. We were like, should we go see it in France? And then and Kid Super goes, it would be way crazier to see it in Morocco. So you kind of did put that out there. And the other thing, so we were debating if we wanted to go to Qatar, if we wanted to do all these stuff, because all of a sudden Schultz is a diehard soccer fan. Yes, this and, is, this and, is, yeah. And little do you know, but me and Mark play soccer together on the Kid Super team, 
weekly uh, when he's feeling fit and getting slender. And so he was like, oh, I don't really. <laughs> Did you put him at goalie when he gained all that weight? No, he was like, yeah, I'm beefing up. I'm like, for what? You're a podcast guy. <laughs> but um, then we were deciding if we were going to go to Qatar or Morocco and Schultz wanted the culture, wanted to experience the people. And fun fact, my mom was actually born in Morocco. So it was worth the 24-hour flight from Brazil to go to all around the world to get here. And I landed about four hours ago. The game's in three hours. Yeah. And if Morocco wins... We were the most geniuses of all time. I mean, this yeah. is, I mean, Morocco's going to win. I'm saying this right now. We don't know what's going to happen. Morocco's going to win. The energy is here. We have the colonized taking out the colonizer. <laughs> it only makes sense. It is only right. Everyone at home, you might be calling me fucking idiots once you know the actual score because it's not coming out until we- next week. But I just wanted to let you know that the positivity, not only is there a storm coming to France, there's a storm here. Like, you feel the energy. Something's going down. We damn near made a fucking side talk video in the middle of the shook, okay? <laughs> this guy with like four teeth in his whole mouth looked like a jack-o'-lantern just started screaming, fuck the French. We probably have to cut that. And I wasn't to even maintain there. Religion. I wasn't even there He yet. wasn't even I was, there. I wasn't exactly. even there yet. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but we're also all in the exact same outfits. Yes. And... I We're ready. What's also good, I mean, on my own personal note, soccer has brought go. me all across the world. And I know Schultz has just become a diehard soccer fan. But it's amazing that something brings all these different people together. So I was in Brazil because of soccer. Now I'm in Morocco because of soccer. And I'm going to end up Get in Qatar. Get out of the way of the other camp. Yeah. I'm going to end up in Qatar, which Schultz has, depending on the game today, and okay. his wife's situation. It is my wife's. It's not even my situation. It's our anniversary. Uh, the, the 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 final game is our anniversary. We're going to end up going to the fucking final, aren't we? <laughs> if, I'll say it right now. if When Morocco wins today, dude, when a- Morocco <laughs> wins today, we have to continue to bestow that good luck because on Morocco. Because you are the good luck charm. That's what I told them. I told, I wouldn't negotiate in the shook. I say, listen, <laughs> the discount you give me is the luck you give to Team Morocco. Which you've been, he has a great haggling technique in which oh, yeah. he How haggles really, really hard yeah. and then tips them heavy. Yeah. So I tip them back up to the price that they wanted, more or less. It's like, uh, you know, when like uh, white but people— But they react so well. They love it. They yeah. love it. They love it. They love it. Yeah, because they, they brutalize me. <laughs> That's really what they like about it. Yeah. But no, it's catch and release. You it's, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's some scientific about it. I play the game, <laughs> you know? Anyway, um, I think you're fucking genius. Uh, for those people who might not know you just yet, um, it's so weird to call you a clothing designer I because— Hmm, how do I say it? It's like, you you might hate this, you might love this. Calling you a clothing designer is like calling, like, Diddy a music producer. Do you know where it's like, I also know you from all these other crazy creative things. I just feel like your creative outlet has been pressed upon clothing, but then I get to see you make animations. I get to see you do cool things. When you did the painting thing, remember... I, I don't. Even, I'm going to butcher it by describing it. Just go YouTube. What would you YouTube? Kid Super Painting Fashion Show. But basically, I did this fashion show where each look had a painting assigned with it, and I'd painted all the uh, 23 paintings. And the last look was a painting, but she walks out of the painting, and it makes for a real. So you see her face in the painting. You're like, oh, I see a human face. That's cool. It's behind a. A big canvas and a painting, blah, blah, blah. It is whatever. I've maybe seen this before in every Scooby-Doo episode, <laughs> right? The bad person is in the wall and their eyes are like following you. And then all of a sudden the model walks through the painting and the painting drapes over them and becomes the outfit. It was genius. It took a lot of trial and error. And what was cool is like there wasn't this like behind this like crazy machine behind it or if we hired a production company to do it, I really built the whole thing yeah. in like the... Brooklyn studio and we failed a lot yeah so can you cool. tell me about this Brooklyn studio that Mark talks about nonstop? so okay I've I built this state of the art fucking <laughs> studio in Soho I finally get us out of Brooklyn think I'm doing this poor kid a favor and he can't wait to get back to Brooklyn <laughs> to go to your fucking studio this is true this is true and it is funny because you the, I mean he tried really hard on his studio yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I did a good job you did do a good job yeah the Kid Super has always had a physical space. So before I had a dorm room that I converted into a store that everyone came and was buying out of my dorm room and then I got kicked out because it was a store. 
Then I got this space in Brooklyn that was really small, and I lived in the back of a store. Then the top two floors moved out, and all my friends moved in, and I owned, in parentheses, this building in in Brooklyn. And then we kind of outgrew that, and now we just signed a lease to a 10,000-square-foot building. Unbelievable. In Brooklyn, which he's from New York City as well, so he understands how difficult it is to find a space of that size. Yeah. I got it because of COVID, and I've been now trying to make it a magical place with— Recording studios, storefront, podcast studios. Uh, not for me, for whoever in his team wants, because I don't know if uh, it's safe for me to get a, on a podcast. But part of it has been with brand sponsorships that have yeah. supported it. And one of those being Jägermeister, who we've done countless projects with. Jaeger. And- um, what I loved about this is, and I pay attention, I'm not going to lie, because obviously we you know, have a lot of people who we work with, sponsor the pod, et cetera. I pay very close attention to, to brands that seek out true creatives, right? Like not just chasing numbers. Numbers right. are very important. We got to sell things. That's how the game works. But like seeking out people who are making creative things and like supporting them in that endeavor, because I think those people actually really get the, the value and equity behind that. And that's, I mean, Jägermeister supported me two, almost five, four years ago when I was really, didn't have the numbers, didn't have Paris Fashion Week, didn't have, and it was just, they respected how hard I was trying at something, Mm. and I respected how hard, like, our first project we worked on, we did a gallery show, and they said, do I want sponsorship? I said, sure. They said, how many people do you think are going to come to your gallery? I said, a hundred. A thousand people ended up coming to my painting gallery show, but she came with... 10 bartenders, 10 cocktails. They're all named after each painting. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? You yeah. tried so hard. And she was like, what the fuck? A thousand people came. Yeah. So that was where we started our relationship. And so now, not only it's been amazing for me and growing, and I literally couldn't have done it without brand sponsorships, but also I put, I say, hey, Schultz is a person you actually should support. Yeah. And they, without a doubt, Gave you the Dude. supported like, like it, I got this in what two days? It was unbelievable. It was it was so cool. And corporations do not work like this. Yes, I, I want to be very clear. Corporations do not work like this. And we work with some fucking awesome ones. But for two days, for us to go, yeah, we're gonna live stream it, and then two days later we go, yeah, I think we might go to Morocco. We got the tickets to go to Morocco the same day we left. Right. So on the plane, we're messaging them. We're like, yo, is it cool if we go to Morocco and watch the and watch the game? They on the plane we get the message back and they're like, give me like half an hour for approval. And we're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking, I was texting uh Jamil. I was like, Jamil didn't come. Jamil yeah. said <laughs> I'm like, what happens if Jaeger pulls? Can I be honest with you? We we didn't have internet on the plane. Yeah. So we didn't know that this was a go until we landed. <laughs> And no, so but, sh- hey, shouts to you, Jaeger. <laughs> we appreciate your commitment. <laughs> but I love that. I thought it was cool that they were down. They just wanted to do creative shit. And um, well, it's also yeah. people are behind these brands, which yeah. we often forget. And we're in a society now where the creatives have a ton of power, right? Yeah. You prove that hugely on your yeah. uh, Netflix special. So it's in their best interest. Netflix? Or your. Woo. Netflix quality special. There we go. Netflix we go. quality yeah, special. Yeah. Mike to face. Netflix quality special. There you go. But what I'm saying is n- now it's in their best interest. So, yeah, they're good people, but it's in their best interest to support yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool and to see. And let you yeah. do what you can do because you know better than anyone else. Right. So, I think. And oh, now we're in Morocco, so it, it worked out That's pretty good. That's what I'm saying. Like, just let us go on a fucking adventure. I remember when I was talking to them, I was like, listen, let us create those kinds of weekends, those kinds of events, like, we will make it happen. I know I seem like a lunatic. We just FaceTimed her right now, and we both look like we just came out of the Sahara. <laughs> yeah, we're lunatics, but sometimes being a lunatic is fun, and you get to do cool shit. Um, so they, they, this is, I thought was really interesting, because <laughs> they sent a package over, right? And uh, they sent the package over, and they're the jerseys that you created. Yes. Right? So you did a jersey for Team USA, I did a tracksuit for Team USA. Well, right. obviously it's World Cup season, and everyone knows that I'm the biggest soccer fan ever. And new I- soccer fan, new soccer fan, him brand brand new soccer fan. I just want to be very clear, everybody at home, <laughs> brand new. When he plays FIFA, he plays with Real Madrid, <laughs> Manchester United. Okay, come on, go keep going. Let's see your teams. Atletico Madrid. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Galicia. 
<laughs> all right, well, you spent your... <laughs> we all know you studied abroad. Well, and- <laughs> top fucking... I look like I knew some things right there. Okay, LA Galaxy. Okay? <laughs> That's a horrible turn, dude. No, I shouldn't go MLS that quick. <laughs> Tottenham, hot spurs, sometimes cold spurs. <laughs> uh, wait, Man City. Not bad. Chelsea. Chelsea City. Other countries. You got Italy. Paris Saint-Germain. Italy. Uh, Juventus. I think he's... he's. It, which do you say you're more knowledgeable, soccer or UFC? <laughs> soccer. You kick that out. <laughs> No, no, UFC, I probably know a little bit more. You but have I, to. You're so I, engaged in I'm UFC. the number one UFC <laughs> journalist. I was going to say, the fact that you almost said soccer is crazy. No, I mean, listen, I, listen I, I'm I also— I consider you someone who knows a lot about UFC. But I'm, I'm the number— And you're low-key yeah. good at boxing, which you never bring up. Yeah, yeah, I don't talk about that at all. Out of all the things that you brag about— I got to keep the streets honest. Yeah, he's a yeah, pretty yeah. good— bo- I mean, from the highlights I see. That was a great— uh, what is it? Underhanded compliment? What you just did right there? You're like, you're great at boxing. I was like, oh, thanks. And then you're like, out of all the things you brag about, you think that you would talk about the thing that you're decent at? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. You're, it's kind of like how you tip and buy. This guy right here. <laughs> this guy is a fucking problem. I sever the sponsorship immediately. Okay. There you go. Take a swig of that. Tell me what happened with this jersey right now before we go eat some tagine. Okay. So this is actually one of the paintings from the fashion show. Oh, this I is think, a painting. Yeah. It's a soccer player. Okay. So, um, the... What team? The, of the, the painting? Yeah, what team is that guy? Just uh, random. You don't know what team it is? It was just, we just painted oh, did it. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, you don't know what team that is? It was more like, you know, on? like a representative of a moment. Doesn't that sound like some bullshit you would say <laughs> if you knew nothing about fucking soccer? Doesn't, doesn't that sound like... Okay, so break this down. So you picked a random guy that kind of looks like me, and you, you put him on... It was okay. a soccer painting. Jägermeister, which is actually quite interesting, was one of the first, if not the first, they don't like to say first because whatever, but brands to ever sponsor a soccer team. And that first jersey looked very similar to this. With Got you. Got you. So it was a reference because when I went to the headquarters, I tried to tie in everything I do into soccer. And when they said they were the first sponsor, I was like, whoa. Done. That's actually Game pretty over. cool. And so now you're, it's illegal for an alcohol company to sponsor uh a team. Really? Yeah. Why? Is that because uh, Qatar bought up all the rest of them? <laughs> yeah. Is, is, <laughs> but what's weird is gambling is allowed. What about a non-alcoholic company? Like, could Odul sponsor a team? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I actually don't know the exact rules. Seems like you don't know a lot about <laughs> soccer, buddy. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to tell and, you. Because there used to be very big branded alcohol companies, and now there's yeah. not. Yeah, and now they're all betting companies, uh, which also is pretty illegal. Right? Way. Yeah, even though we love them. Uh, oh, true. <laughs> yeah, we love them. We love them. Oh, they're yeah, great. Yeah, you know, they have, uh, promo code flavor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the jersey's fucking fire. I think it's great that you get to do these things and just go on these adventures. Now, the question is, when do we get... When do we get... Out, I want my name on the back and the number exactly. Yeah. What number would I be for how your personality um, or how I play? What position would I play? Obviously. Well, I, I've never striker. seen striker. I would say like you could also be an uh, like center back that kind of just two studs tackles to set the pace. Seems like you're saying I'm not an offensive player. No, you're more. You set the tone. Can I also strike and set the tone? Yeah, but that's n- not as much. Maybe a forward striker. <laughs> yeah. But that- also, you, you, since you're so good at boxing, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're more like a brute type. <laughs> <laughs> Am I like the, the enforcer? Is yeah, that what you're saying? I'm, saying. I'm just you're there the to fight. Enforcer, yeah, I'm just- there to protect Messi. Yeah. Because uh, Messi's little. You're not little. little. Guy. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So are you more of like, um, let me, let me yeah, guess you can do me. who you are. Oh, uh, Pepe. Dude, that's you're, you. I you're more of like you're Pepe. Pepe, right? <laughs> but the way that you play is like not, you don't know like how to really have good touch. That was you. No, you're dude, dude. I, you're trying to flip it on me. I don't think that's good. But <laughs> it's good that you knew that, Pepe. Who, Pepe? You're, that's one of your top faves. Come on, dude. I know all these things. No, I see you as like like a Roberto Carlos. Like What position does Roberto Carlos play? Uh, back. 
<laughs> but then he still runs the sides. <laughs> Come on. Not son. bad. Not I know bad. about these things. Roberto Carlos is the best at his position ever. No, no. What do I really think you are? Andres Iniesta. That's a good one. I think I see you like... Dude, you know a ton about soccer. <laughs> Yo, you see how he flipped him up, boy? I see, I see you, Andres Iniesta, impossible to take the ball away from you, controlling the game, crazy assists, leading the attack. But when it comes to defense... You're not really about that life. I'm very much not about that life. Like, <laughs> if you knew how right he was, we should get my mom. My mom would be screaming at me, like, get back on defense. <laughs> but the problem is if you spend too much time on defense. Then you can't have fun on offense. <laughs> you're, you're just not as, like, energized when you get the ball. But um, I, I am that type. I'm more of a, uh, a little bit more attacking. Yeah. Than, than, uh, Scoring and setting up, or? I'm much better setting up. Setting up. Yeah, much yeah. better passer. So if you had to make a basketball analogy for who you were? Mm, I'm I'm pretty bad at basketball, to be honest. What about and like I, a I John, like, John Stockton, the assist well, king? I All I know him as just a white The white guy yeah, yeah, on the dream icon. team? Yeah, just like, all right, that guy. Dude, he was so anonymous. Steve Nash. Well, Steve Nash was a great shooter yeah, okay. from distance. But they, he had a great story about the Dream Team when they were in Barcelona. He was the only player that could just walk around the streets. <laughs> like, yeah. he, was, he would just, he goes, I would just go with my family. And I'd be wearing the Dream Team shirt that had my own face on it with the other guys. And people would walk up and have no fucking How clue. How big is he? You might be taller than him. I'm probably about the same size. But, yeah, I see you. Send people up. Yeah, Andres Iniesta all day, dude. Um, who's like a great passer in the modern day that's best? Chris, Chris Paul. Okay, yeah. Chris Paul. I mean, he's like the ultimate point guard assist guy. And who are you? Who is my comparison? Yeah. Aren't you also okay at basketball? I mean, look, I don't want to brag. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but who is my comparison be? The problem is I was never a great shooter from distance. You just close good shooter? I was like what's called mid range. I, I was okay, but I could get to the basket. Okay. So I would get to the basket and then dish. I was like an assist guy, but get to the basket and dish. But if I could shoot, man, that would have been a little bit of a game changer. <laughs> I'm trying to think my Yeah, this is a fun game. Who is your professional counterpart? <laughs> yeah. I like uh, also, do you know who Modric is? Yeah, I was just yeah. Uh, for Croatia. Yeah, that's yeah. also a little bit. And then there's a player, Hamez. Rodriguez, he's Colombian. He was on Real Madrid. He had the greatest World Cup, last World Cup. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'll play a little that's bit. That's who like you it. think? Well, who I want to. Obviously now, who, who is, okay, that's the dream. Is Modric, <laughs> yeah. is the dream? No, Ma, uh, or James, Modric, Fabs. Modric is more. If expensive. you had to pick an American player. Um, oh, Gio Reyna. Great. Oh. Fire. Th the son of. Yeah, Claudio. Who played, I guess? Yeah, professionally. That's why. He grew up all over. Mm. But Gio Reyna is actually fire. Yes. The U.S. teams could be really good, and that's what we have to start planning for is the World Cup in 100%. four years. 100%. Yeah, we've been saying the U.S. team is going to be good for about two decades now. Yeah, but it's happening. <laughs> they're all 22. <laughs> that's true. That's they're, true. They're all yeah. going to be. And they're finally not all German. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Not that, that was, there's anything wrong. <laughs> not there's anything wrong with German things. No, but German that was, things the are German great. coach literally was like, America sucks. If you have any strand of American, I'm signing you up. The team literally couldn't speak English. I know. That was crazy. crazy. I know. And it wasn't like they were great German players. He just thought, like, Americans were so, so bad. <laughs> I know. How messed up. You're like, this American kid has dedicated his entire <laughs> life to soccer, and this guy doesn't even speak English. It's not a team. There's a lot of that. I mean, yeah, there's a different, uh, there's a lot of random people that switch teams and yeah. stuff. Which yeah. is, Qatar was trying to do that hard. Oh, really? Yeah. Because they knew they were going to have it for 10 years, so they just were trying to go around the world to, like, nationalize Definitely. Mike, close to your face. Also, I just want to point out that if Kid Super dies in Qatar <laughs> at the finals, just know he did say that on this podcast. Just know that, that <laughs> there is proof of him saying that on the podcast. I just want to point that out there. Um, well, listen, listen, we have a Tajin to get to. We do. And we have a game to support. And we have history if, to be made. If he said it, if when, Mor when Morocco wins. There we go. His anniversary for one year will be in his favorite country in the world. Qatar. Qatar. <laughs> Qatar. 
Qatar. We're going to Qatar. I haven't told my wife this yet, but if, if. Well, sorry, when, when when Morocco wins, the storm is coming, France. When Morocco wins, we're going to Qatar. My and wife if. will probably be in Dubai. <laughs> Reliving some Real Housewives shit, but we will be in Qatar. She likes soccer. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't she like her dad? Weren't you saying? Oh no, her dad is a huge fan. He's so happy that I'm here. Okay. Like he's like, I'm so glad that you. Also, yeah. <laughs> potentially, Schultz will come to Paris. Oh, lock it in. Can we talk about it? Yeah, you can, can we talk, talk about, about it? it. You can't talk about the other thing. Okay. There's a lot of things that we okay. <laughs> we're gonna keep you abreast on all no, the kids super things. About- kids super fashion show in Paris in January. Yeah, he for some reason wants stand up comedy to be a part of it. Huge mistake, but it's okay. You gotta let creatives create. And um, I'm going there dressed like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is, it's fashion. It's, fa- it's fashion. It's fashion, baby. <laughs> okay, uh, let's throw it back to the guys in uh, America. All right, I think we do a nice little cheers to Kid Super. Yeah, Dove. Let's go. Chin chin. Chin chin. Sante. Merci, Dove. There we go. Thanks, Jaeger. I don't drink, but I fucks with you guys. Get a sniff of that, though. Get a sniff of that. Oh, that's not bad. Right? It's nice. It's nice. It's a little minty. Ah. It's something. Uh. Anyway, that's fire. Um, it was an awesome adventure. Reflect amazing yeah. on the adventure. I mean, it was just amazing. Like, the Riyadh we were in was so nice. The streets, like, when you're inside the Medina, you're in a different world. Different world. There's a few places that you go yep. that are not completely westernized. Yes. That you walk around and you're like, oh, there's no McDonald's. Nothing. There's, like, you're obviously yeah. selling wares that are modern day, so it's, like, soccer jerseys and stuff like that, but it doesn't feel... Like, it's almost... This is how, like, growing up near theme parks warped my brain, is that I assume everything that is authentic feels like... It was made up. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you go through, like, Disney World, and you're like, whoa, this is crazy. This is a French square. And you walk through there, and it's so authentically the way it always has been that you're almost like, are these people paid to do this? Like, yeah. What's going on? Like, this is so crazy. And I was even yeah. asking the people that were, like, from there, I was like, what's the deal with this? They're like, nah, that is authentic. Yeah. Like, these people live in the Medina. They have yeah. shops in the Medina. They sell shit that, like, yeah. they get from Morocco. Yeah. And it's, like, a real authentic experience. And there's very few places like that, I feel like, in the world that are, Complete like, culture shock. Yeah, extremely unique. And really, you feel like you're out of water. And really respectful to Westerners. Yeah. Like, going through, like, obviously, they're trying to sell you shit. But, like, it's never, it never felt dangerous. We're walking yeah. through the Medina at 3 in the morning after going out. And we went to this awesome club. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it never felt dangerous. never felt weird. Yeah. No, it was great. Also, that that nightclub was, like, really fun. Bro, it was amazing. 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 That nightclub was sick, bro. Just laughing at when we were on the way there and you told us this story when you went there with your shorty. Oh, uh, yeah. How, like, you were in the Medina and then at a certain time, it was dark. I'm going to do a horror movie. Everything just starts to bro. close up. The scariest and it's so, place I've ever been. Scary. You felt like I thought it was Get Out. Your life. He was talking about oh. white Get Out, bro. That's bro. what it was. Bro. Dude, the Medina at night is the most terrifying place I've ever been in my entire life. Genuinely, the most terrifying place I've ever been. At a certain hour, it closes and they just start closing doors and there's no way that you can map the place hey mark uh i have a bone to pick with you a little bit what you took your powder already (laughs) 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 you guys are scared about this this is heaven once these lights go it's over once it's dark it's over all these confidence is going to leave you immediately you won't be a jew in a maze I'm gonna take y'all to the Medina, bro. <laughs> bro, we went there. They were so nice. <laughs> we were in the, on the Upper East Side. <laughs> we were in the Beverly Hills. Of the it was so nice, bro. It was a moment oh, where we were oh, worried oh. or scared. Keep that same it energy. was so nice. This is how I know y'all are pussy. You That's ready? Why he didn't get this, how, this is how I know. First trip, right? <laughs> this is how I know. I said this is scary. I said if y'all start running right now, we're walking back at night. If y'all start running right now, I'm chasing after one of you. I'm not gonna be left here alone. Everybody dispersed, right? I just followed Dove because I know Dove knows how to get back to the fucking hotel. You two tried to be cute and run the other way. Which bitch ass pussies started running back towards Dove because you didn't know how to get home. Yeah, we didn't know how to get home. It wasn't exactly. scared. Scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Scared. Scary. Because we want to go back scary. to the Being hotel. lost is not being scary. scared, scary. bro. Scary. Nope. That's what's scary. Being I was lost. On your side. Being lost. That was and such I, a stupid I thought thing. you had it, but they really just. Y'all are scared, bro. If all of you just ran a different direction right now, I would scream great. Right. Right. So why don't you guys stop it? Stop it. Come on, guys. Don't <laughs> you look slimmer after that. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Alcon is stressed. I 
They really just. I'm gonna make a horror movie there now. But <laughs> what's it gonna be? A guy with no teeth being like, "Want tea?" Yeah. Like, that's, <laughs> that's the whole horror movie. That's how it starts. <laughs> that's how it starts. I'm gonna show you later night. It gets scary out there. All I'm trying uh, to say, uh, <laughs> we were there late at night, bro. How are you gonna threaten some shit we did? So, you can't both do that. Nights we came back mad late. No, but we were in the thick of it, bro. Like, hey, once yeah. you get in the thick of it, it's over. We were in the thick of it, bro. Yo, no, we were in the thick. We of was it. in it, but what you get? It, you nah, know. we didn't go to the thick of it, bro. No, we did go. We were in the thick of it, really. We was in the thick of it, bro. Oh. We was on the outskirts. This is the thing. He gets more scared when he has to be dove. Like in that moment, you were with your girl. He had to be the protector. He had to be the navigator. I didn't want to do all that. See, you should be grateful for this guy. I am fucking grateful. As Al's not grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Al's the most ungrateful so, piece of so shit. Grateful, Can't even bro. get salt by himself. <laughs> really? What the fucking ass. I didn't dude. even know he was upset about that. Well, you didn't? No, <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't that I was upset. It wasn't the salt one. It was the fucking shifty uh, tequila. Yeah, bro, you <laughs> ordered for the table. So I'm thinking the guy only speaks fucking French. So I'm like, hey, Dove, can you this get us a such drink? a bullshit lie. I'm at the other end of the table. I can't he hear does what the He does this with his girl, his mom. You're at the 100%. other end of the table. You're sitting right next to Dove. Yeah. No. Ow. <laughs> Ow. How do you say his, how lips, you say? his lips start to the go. Guy. Bro, I thought you liked doing dishes, babe. I yeah. thought you always yeah. do no, them. I, 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 I thought you enjoyed Supra. doing it. I was I thought, next to Kid Supra. You want me to help? Dumb. You want me Dad to help the dishes? Businesses, all this out. <laughs> French lesson number one. <laughs> French lesson number one. How do you say tequila in French? I don't know. Nigga. Tequila. Tequila. All right. I know that. You should have told me that. <laughs> Come on, bro. Nah. Come on, bro. I'm just taking a cue out of his book. So he, <laughs> he told me he's like. Taking a what? What? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's my favorite shit. <laughs> Al sometimes speaks English bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> English like Joe Biden. <laughs> but, uh, I'm taking I'm a few out of his book. Stop it. All right. All right. He really wildly coyote that shit. Yo, he ran off the edge of the cliff like, uh-oh. uh-oh. <laughs> no, no. The thing I hate about Al, I'll just say this. He is the worst. Skin color? Yeah, race? Yeah, that, <laughs> besides that. Besides that. Besides, besides that. that. <laughs> the worst startup motor in the game is. Oh, yeah. is Wait, what does that mean? Burning Man, Morocco, on tour in the morning. He, it takes him two hours to just get to like normal speed. He's mm. so slow. We go to a party, and then all of a sudden he's Mister Life of the Party. And I'm like, oh, where yeah. were you? I start my days late. It's called hey. drugs. Bro. No. <laughs> Very simple. Yeah, now yeah. without alcohol or drugs, boring. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not people time, bro. That's yeah, really yeah. what it is. Yes, he just catches up a little later. That's yes, uh, this could be true. I wake yeah. up on regular people time. I'm waking up on CP time. Come on, bro. Okay, so then we come. <laughs> do we get into anything eventful? Final day. I mean, the party, party was, was awesome. Dope. Like that was amazing. Oh, yeah, that was really cool. And going there and like they hooked it up. And it's crazy because you go to this Muslim country, you're like, oh, they're not gonna have casinos and whatever. And then they have this beautiful casino, amazing band. Yeah. And yeah. just like alcohol everywhere, they're serving up. They got pictures. The pictures are fire. Yeah. It was just a great time. It was awesome. So are we going out? What do you want? Yeah, exactly. What could really go wrong? Oh, you think less. Okay. What the fuck? Body. Oh, yeah. yeah. Scrub. I didn't know this. Scrub. Yeah. Kid Super did it the next day. How oh, do yeah. you like it? Uh, he said it was great. I didn't know this. They did yeah. the uh, region as well. Oh, really? There's yeah. nothing sexual about this. They got the capuchin scrub. monkeys You in go there? into yeah. this <laughs> steam room, and they just, the, it's like they give you a bath while you're you are in swim trunks. Soft whatever. hands? What kind of hands are we talking? So, just worker hands. Yeah. Yeah. But they put layers of soaps, the argon, all this, and then they scrub you down like a beat up car, and they make you touch your arm, and you feel just layers of dead skin. Like it's just like, all right, I'm sorry, this Jeez. is what it is. They like and shame they just, you. They shame you. <laughs> and then they just start putting more. It's like with buckets in a trough, and they just keep pouring you, and you come out baby soft. You walk. They put the bathroom on. You walk out. Someone hands you a hot tea. Full wow. recommendation, yeah. guys. Wow, we gotta do that. We missed I wanted, that. This I wanted time. to ride a camel. I didn't get to do that. Yeah, we were supposed to. Then we Where would be the next uh, destination? Adventure destination Africa. with camels? Or you, we go... We did Africa, bro. I got to go back. Yeah. Just different parts. That was, that was actually my Al over 2023. Yeah, it's not. Al doesn't consider that real Africa. Africa. It's too, too soon. 
Yeah. Why? Yeah. Just because they called you the N-word with the hard R? <laughs> that oh, Al did get called the N-word. I with did. the hard R. With the hard R. In a good way. But in like a... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watched the whole thing happen. I was, I was like, like, somehow that should be offensive to everyone. <laughs> and even Al was like, uh. <laughs> Are like, you sure? Because he was... Well, they, they, he's like, my nigger, French oh. Montana. <laughs> I was well, like, you gave the pass to French Montana. Or he has a pass. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, Same. I mean, I'm in Africa, so it's you're like, getting called it by by Africans. So like, you and know. like I could just tell it was like endearing, but it was just it was hard R. Like he truly hard didn't know like, <laughs> how he was supposed to say it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Man. yeah, it was weird. Yeah. But yeah, I really want to go back to Africa. That was yeah. my goal for 2023, and then this happened overnight. So that was cool. Yeah, so, yeah. knocked it out early. Yeah, we gotta do more adventures. And then we ended in the pool, bro. That was the best part. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all hanging out in the pool, singing, singing, vibing. No, we had a great. A we had a great fucking time. Need <laughs> somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you understand. We all need somebody to lean on. Sometimes you're Moroccan, sometimes you're Moroccan. Subscribe. <laughs> Alex, if you could help me do this. I have to put the thing on. I have to put the thing on. I want to put the kaftan on. Let me put the kaftan on. Wait, wait, who am I? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a spread eagle. No, no, there's a step right there. Wait, stop. Keep going that side. Go on that side again. Tickle him, tickle him. We didn't make a mess. No, we didn't make a mess. We were respectful. We you. had a great fucking time. Yeah. What, what do you mean? You just always... You. You. <laughs> we that had was a great, great, great time. No, we got to do more adventures. We are going to do more adventures. I really like this. I hope you guys like this. I hope you enjoy. And if there are any, like, the, you know, very cool, unique experiences that we can tap into, please let us know. I mean, an underdog in the semifinals of the World Cup, a team that should not be there at all, to go to like the homeland and watch it with the fans yeah, yeah. that have been like rooting for them. Might never happen again. Yeah. Might never happen again. Yeah. So it's like, well, it, it definitely won't happen again that the first African team yeah. to make it to the semifinals. Yeah. Like That's we were true. there for a fucking first. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we want to know about all these other little things and then just go out there and, and explore them, man. And yeah. with more time, I think we could do more like flagrant meetups because we get to Marrakesh and then all of a sudden he's like, Great Moroccans were like Casablanca or like, let me yeah. take you out, let me do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hip hop yeah, yeah. artists, all this from Morocco. So yeah. I think with some more prep time, it can be up. Yeah, and the more unique, the better. I feel like there's mad people that listen. They're like, oh, my culture is like too weird, too fringe. Like, we no, like that. No one knows yeah. about us. What's the festival that happens in your town, that no one your knows country, about your city? We want to go. Experience. The food yeah. has to be good, though. We like good food. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, you do. I like good you food. Do. It has to be fine. It, it, it was mid. <laughs> Say it. Say it in your single right now. It was mid. Moroccans, <laughs> hit them right now. It was mid. The food was good. Food was good. I went with incredibly low expectations because when I went with my wife, the food was not good. <laughs> so it exceeded my low expectations. We didn't have, okay, we didn't have mama's have cooking. Low expectations. We didn't exactly. have mama's cooking, bro. He said, oh, Moroccan no, the, food. The last thing no, Moroccans should do is talk about how good the food is. I'll defend a Moroccan home before a Moroccan restaurant. That's facts. Okay, and so we went to all restaurants, so it's safe nah, to say. Nah, we had good restaurants. We had good restaurants. Last night we had good food. The yeah, first that night, was it was good. Food. good. It wasn't it was, great. Yeah. It's not, uh, you don't go to Africa for that. By New Yorker standards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you have gone back to any of these restaurants? Yeah. If, if I was in there, no, if I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go and be like, oh yeah, if they were in New York, I'd probably go, but I'm not. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm not like New York's got New the York, best you food in the world. Door, and you gotta. This is the best food in the world. Like. That's the problem. So yeah. when we go other places, they gotta light it up. Expectations are high. <laughs> gotta bro. light it up. We can recognize it's still great though. <laughs> no, they gotta light it up. <laughs> You're giving great. They ain't light it up. Easy, bro. They ain't light it up. I don't up. like anything that's not New York. I realize this, and it's just you just gotta it's deal with it. It's the best. Yeah. We are the best. Everything nah, we are the best. The best. Yeah. We the best. Come on. Don't we the just, best. You just, this is a hell, you know? Bro, come on. Dude. This <laughs> hey, is the hell you're stuck you're, in. You're, you're welcome. We allow you in our city, okay? <laughs> so you, yeah, you got yeah, white like, real quick. So, you got white yeah, real quick. Hey, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, you're no, lucky we let you in. Yeah. You're from New York. They said we moved to Far Rock. Yeah, yeah. No, you're welcome. You're welcome, bro. Yeah, you're lucky they let you into Manhattan. That's true. Last stop on the E train ass. They pushed us out one time. I'm coming back. Fuck out of here, dog. The next World Cup is in North America. Are you guys excited about that? Yo. Yeah. Yes. So the next World Cup is in North America. That means Mexico, America, and Canada. And Canada. So we're which winning is that. wild. We're winning that. Yeah, we're gonna win that. Oh yeah, we're guaranteed. Everybody. But yeah. 
But we have to pick and choose the destinations to watch the games. Mexico City. Got to. Have to. I mean, we got a few games here in New York. Yeah, New so York, too. Pulling, got to. Pulling up. New York, Mexico City. We got to pick our spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. New York, Mexico. They're probably going to do one in Miami. Mm -hmm. Do they know the exact locations? Yep. Miami's not oh, a city God. you visit. Nope, that's not, the, that's not the one. That's not it. That's not the one. I don't remember. Hold up. Hold up. places. 2026 host cities. Okay. okay. Atlanta. Atlanta. Boston. Mid. Boston. Yeah. Miss. Watch out. Dallas. That's what's up. Atlanta. All right. Yeah, That's what's up. Dallas will be all right. Houston, Houston probably fire. Houston's honestly bad. LA, Kansas City. Miami, miss. Park. Let's go. What? Los Angeles. Okay. Kansas Miami. City? Hell yeah. New York. Absolutely. Absolutely. Philadelphia. Miss. San Francisco. Miss. Yuck. Mexico, where do we got? Mexico City. Estadio Azteca, we're fucking doing you wanna it. You want to know the craziest one, bro? Go. Monterrey. Oh, Monterrey? Oh, with the oh with the shit. Oh, my God. Nah, that's, that's you happening. that up with the Swift. Crazy. That's bro. happening. Orale. That, that was beautiful. Oh, my God. That's ah. happening. That's beautiful. Oh, my Lord. So we got to catch that game. 100%. Let's catch both. Yeah. Mofa. Yeah, yeah, but Mexico's a spot. If you want to be... Toronto, I'm cool with it. Toronto will be fun for Toronto. I'm good. But yeah, yeah I'm but good before that, I mean, look, we also have Paris Vancouver. Olympics like in two Toronto, years. Toronto. That's true. But Paris for culture, Olympics. though, for culture, yeah, you know, it's it's different. You out gotta be in Mexico. Man. Yeah, We're going to Mexico for soccer. Are you kidding me? So my question is, who qualifies? Because normally the host country qualifies. I think all three. All three. Thanks. Wow. That's and right. I'm pretty sure they're expanding the World Cup to more teams. But that also makes well, sense that, yeah. too, because you want to engage North America as much as you possibly can. Yeah. So I mean, Mexico is obviously going to qualify. Canada wouldn't. Oh, so we automatically qualify. The host Even country the host also country. Host qualifies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Qatar was in the World Cup, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they beat a team. Oh, no, they lost, right? Their first game. How the fuck Saudi Arabia was in the World Cup? Did they qualify? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they were actually these. Yeah, yeah. The one I mean, team that beat Argentina. Because they qualify yeah. within their... Yeah, the, Afri the uh, Afrikan... Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then America qualifies through CONCACAF. Yeah. CONCACAF. All yeah. I'm saying is, listen, if you're trying to gamble on the World Cup, you're trying to gamble on sports, you're trying to put that money on American football, you know you're using betonline.ag, mm. promo code flagrant, matching 50% of that initial deposit bonus up to $1,000. You already know what fucking time it is. Mm. So if you're putting money up, you parlaying that shit, you're doing it with betonline.ag, you supporting this podcast, supporting yourself that's free money to gamble with even more money to make you are absolutely welcome we're coming for that world cup i'm very excited yo i'm excited that even at 39 years old i've just i'm excited i found soccer <laughs> true it's this absolutely amazing sport you're a born again soccer fan. i'm a born again soccer fan yeah. like as silly as it sounds i'm genuine i'm genuine about it like how cool to be excited about a new thing at this age it was so anxiety inducing though. Yeah, you think it's not best for you. Yeah, having a rooting interest in soccer, <laughs> you're just constantly worried. Uh, constantly worried. Me. What? I just think it's complete bullshit. I think what you mean? in three weeks, you're not gonna give a fuck about soccer, bro. <laughs> I think you won't care about it until the next World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, right so now, I like I like World States. Cup soccer. You need no, no. Okay. I'm gonna like, Ch for example, Champions League is fire. Hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, poco a poco. I'm gonna like. When is the CONCACAF Cup or whatever? <laughs> CONCACAF. Yeah, yeah. Whatever that shit is. It's a year or two. Then. Okay, because the Europas I'll probably get into a little bit. That's in two That's years. That's cool. Yeah. Our shit I'll get into mm -hmm. a little bit. Copa America. That Copa America I'm going to yeah. get into. But Cap. I'm yeah, being yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Conca into it. All that. No, no. Why don't you just pick a team? No, I don't think you're lying. And... It's hard for me to get into the team Bro, shit just you, yet. You lived in Barcelona. You could be a, you could be a Barca fan. He lived in Barcelona and I didn't give a fuck when he was there. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I ain't like, care. Bro, and they how? won La Liga. How, bro? I used to you, see them motherfuckers at the club. You like, lived there one of the greatest Dino times in Barcelona shit. history, bro. I met all them motherfuckers at the club. Soft. Not low. enough? Soft low, man. Nah. No, Ronaldinho <laughs> is that dude. Right. He's a, Hair never been dry. Well, yeah, wild motherfucker, bro. Uh, never been dry. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah. And he's probably partying mad, mad. Motherfucker's him, one of the most recognizable human beings on the planet. Got caught with a fake passport in How? a different country. <laughs> in, I'm pretty sure in, in South Uruguay. America. Uruguay. In South he's America. He's one of the most famous motherfuckers on the planet and distinct looking. Yeah. Wow. Ain't that many people look like him, bro. Why the fake, bro. Why the fake passport? Cause he out here, bro. He outside. He went to prison. At, like what? after he retired, he like went to like it was like a, like a nice prison for like a year or something, like eight months. But why? Why do you have the fake ID? Yeah, I don't know. Why, oh, bro? I, have not, I literally don't. Have no it's idea. crazy. These motherfuckers are crazy, saying. bro. These How are you gonna crazy. change your name if you're Ronaldinho? Hey, bro, <laughs> it, it is is nuts. But all I'm saying is I'm I like soccer and I enjoy it, so I'm I'm in. I'm in.
Yeah. I think you got to pick a team, man. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do the team. People should lobby. Yet. People should it's lobby you. They should be like, okay. yo, support this team. Okay. And I'm everyone get their sales pitch. I'm if with you're, that. If you're a Man U fan, if you're a Real Madrid fan, Juventus fan. Give me the story. Like, I need yeah. to know the backstory. I like, I know the backstory of, like, countries. That's what's exciting <laughs> to support them. Yeah. But as far as, like, a regular yeah. team goes, What's I don't the know. geopolitics of Man United? That's what you need to know. Yeah, I need to get into that. Yeah. Give me the story. The Hotspurs. <laughs> bunch of here. Jews. Hot ham. Like them. I'm an Inter fan. Yeah. I don't oh, know. I gotta I figure mean, it out. That's your team, right? That's what I'm saying. So bro. I can't even. No, nah, you could be Mbappe. No, nah, 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 but you're doing it. it the American way of like going after the players. Yeah. I'm trying to find the club that I support. Say again. I'm American. Yeah. That's nice to know how someone still is. Exactly. Yeah. Right? right. Yeah, I guess. No, that's not. That's how Black Americans pick teams. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's true. Shut up. Y'all just pick the most famous player, and then you're a fan of that team. That's not true. Most famous black guy. The most famous black guy. Yeah. Then you go on the team. No. Yes. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what team LeBron on? I like yeah. that team. <laughs> That's why I don't like hockey yet. That's why. As soon as there's a big famous... Uh, fa oh, oh they in there. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm waiting. <laughs> they got me close Who's your favorite NASCAR Gretzky? racer? You like someone in NASCAR or Formula One? Uh, the I love Brandon guy. <laughs> whatever, whatever that Brandon? Is. I don't know. What is it? <laughs> let's go, Brandon. Oh, let's go, Brandon. That guy. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That guy's Unbelievable. Cool. That guy's cool. <laughs> That guy. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, listen, uh, we got to wrap this up. Yep. Thank y'all so much uh, for fucking with us. Make sure y'all fuck with Jaeger. Thank you for doing this. Thank That's you for thank pushing you. everyone out of their thank comfort you. zone. This wouldn't happen without you just being like, yo, we're fucking doing it. Respect, yeah. respect. Thank You're you guys for coming on the journey. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. do yeah. crazy things. Thank oh. you for never planning anything and being always last minute all the time. Yeah. Yo, it's so much more exciting that way. <laughs> it, it really is. <laughs> we got to get it. I, I got to frame that text. That text embodies this podcast. Yeah. Bring a passport and a change of underwear. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going yet. <laughs> Yo, yeah. That's just great, right? Yeah. Let's live life like that. Okay, guys. Uh, to Adventure, thank you so much, Jaeger. Thank you so much, you guys, for being down to do these things. Akash, I don't know how many of these adventures you're going to want to do, but uh, <laughs> I'm a you're a great sport. sport. I'm a yeah, good yeah. sport. You're an unbelievable sport. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you that. You didn't complain not one fucking time. Nope. Yep. I, did, I stayed with, out as late as everybody else. You stayed out as late as everybody else. Yeah. No, no, like... That's nah, big. real talk. That's, that's big. big. Man, bro. That's big. Mainly because I didn't know how to get home. Yeah, yeah I, I was there <laughs> though. Great. He was there. Never yeah. complained not one time. That's big. So we're gonna have to figure out these adventures <laughs> for Akash. What yeah, do you yeah. think? What do you think the goal is for you? Yeah. Well, let's go to India, obviously. Yeah. I think yeah. you get tired of that shit too. Yo. Yeah. I kind of feel. I feel like we'd be out there raging, and you'd be like, "Oh, I wouldn't party in India. No, but <laughs> yeah, I'd be yeah, very yeah. happy outside yeah. of that. But when y'all go to the club, I'd be like, I'm." Um, fucking tuckered out bro he, Your boy, he tried to get out of going out so bad what'd he say he goes oh i'm gonna wear sweatpants to a club <laughs> multiple times to a club bro how are you gonna wear sweatpants to a club you know they got a dress code you and, and then no he, oh, yeah. he knew it because as we were walking up he goes ah they're probably not gonna let me in you know <laughs> <laughs> why do you think that why do you think because that? in true akash fashion i tried to pee at a casino earlier and they wouldn't let me in <laughs> oh, that happened so because i had to pee i found out oh, i funny. couldn't get in oh that, that you can't even pee here no, they yeah. wouldn't even, they were like, dude, no. This is a guy yeah, wearing here. a dress. You look Looking disgusting. At you. He's in a dress. <laughs> no teeth. Oh, you can't pee here. Look at you. In your Nike tech. Disgusting. Oh, my God. <laughs> Akash, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Going out, no, going out, singing, all that shit, that was fun. Yo, dancing with dudes, fun. Yes. So much fun. Love right? that. You we're did like that. Shit. That was fun. What we'll well, yeah. would be an Akash adventure? Something yeah, we could do for you. I'm telling you, India, let's go. World Cup of Cricket. Let's right. go next year. That's an activity. Yeah. You know what? You would get into it the same way you got into soccer. <laughs> For that event, you would get into it. I promise you, you would. Yeah. I yeah. promise you, you would. I probably would. <laughs> I promise you, you would. Let's do this. All right. We'll get a suite or something so you don't have to, like, you know, shit in the, you get like a toilet, but eat. <laughs> we're going to go. I would love to go to, uh, what's the, the holy or whatever like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Diwali or holy? Holy. Holies with the That's colors. With the color? yeah. I would I love do that. to do I'd that. Do that. I mean, that would be you fucking go to a magical. In America and do that. No motherfucker. <laughs> with the real shit. This <laughs> guy. We could have gone to a bar and watched the game here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Moroccan restaurants. Son, we got to get some adventure into you. Come on, dude. We got to get some adventure right. in you. Part of it is going there and experiencing the enthusiasm of the people and getting caught up in. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know what you mean. But I don't believe it. You know what I mean? What do you, what do you, what do you not believe? I just don't buy it. I see what you're saying. You, know you know how your dad is like, I wish I believed in God. I wish I believed what you were saying. Like, I'm with it. <laughs> right. But I don't, I don't. It sounds good. Yeah. It sounds good. Yeah, I yeah. wish I had this. Right here you believe it. Yeah. But, but here. Here I don't. Yeah, but, but God you can't see. <laughs> 
fun, I can And see. another country you can like see it. You can experience it, you can feel it. Like what do you get from going no, in? I'm here? down to go to the other countries, but when y'all are like, hey, let's go out, I'm like, let's, let's, let's go in. <laughs> I saw the country, now I gotta see the club? Club is a club is a club. Ah, it was different, bro. It was different, dog. I mean, it was completely different. Like yeah. seeing that band do that was amazing. No, that I, I never seen that in America. No, that I was into. Yeah. But then the second night, we both bailed on whatever we're gonna, whatever Dove was getting into, shenanigans. Yeah, he was chasing pussy. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I was supposed to say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That made you look weirder to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to blow up his butt. Um, but we're going to get you into adventure, okay. my boy. I look forward to what it. What about like nature adventures? Ooh. Is that something that you would do? Why? <laughs> Green River. Right, what even if we... I got offended by that question. Why would I? No, because I, I really, I want us, I've told you this, I want us to, I want us to whitewater raft in the yes. Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. I want us to, Bruh. and then camp on the sides. The greatest thing ever. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, what is know. that even? <laughs> yeah. What is that even? I'll get outside That's... of your comfort zone. That's not my comfort zone. I've never camped before. First time I'm gonna do it is after going whitewater rafting in the Grand Canyon in the Colorado River. That's amazing. And you lay there and you look at the stars and you go, bro, we're just a little ball floating through the universe. What the oh, fuck's yeah, going on? Oh, I saw shooting go. stars out there. That's right. Yeah, that was dope. That's no, see? meteor right? shower. You a said. meteor shower, whatever. Same, same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> y'all got but something y'all yeah. need to talk out after this, I think. I don't know what's going <laughs> nah. on, but y'all gotta have a. I'm just mad he didn't wake me up for it. Uh, I yeah. did. I sent the text in a group. That's true. No, that's yeah. Not true. We wake up. From yeah, it's waking up. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But yeah, I think that we need to get into these Avengers, get outside of our comfort zone. I think that's a smart, healthy thing to do. Bro, whitewater rafting, awesome. I've done that. Right? It's fire, right? And then you camp after? I know. I, I was trying to be nah, off. No, no, no. That shit is bad fun, bro. That's, that's <laughs> human, bro. Really bad that's fun. human. I didn't yeah. know it all white people, but it was fun. Well, I gotta defy death. This is what your ancestors did. Me being alive years, bro. is a medical uh, miracle, but it's like it's light. Like, what is what is like a fun thing for you? What like yeah, how do you have fun? Yo, I'm down to travel. I'm down to sightsee. I'm down for all that. I love going to Morocco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just you know all the the going out part ended up being fun, but initially I was like I'm gonna go, but this shit is gonna be fucking. What are we gonna do? I can't. You know how I know I'm old? When music is loud, I get upset because I'm like I can't, I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it. He's been consistent. I gotta yell to talk to you. Consistent. He's been I gotta yell to talk to the guy next. To Let's yeah. just ha hey, a meal. I love it. Let's. You're a great see. sport. I will say that. Yeah. You're an absolutely great sport. Let's go yeah. see the sights. Doing the activity. What kind of camping? Like tents or glamping? Tents, bro. I think it's. I think it's actually like. Ugh, no tents. I, th I think you just craziness. I do insane. believe this guy's a crazy fucking person. No, That's not fine. in the Grand Canyon. You're inside. This guy's a crazy fucking person. It's gonna be thirty degrees. Or Animals. Whatever. Nah, you get little like critters. Yeah, little critters, dog. Yeah, scorpions. Maybe a scorpion. Yeah, why? Why are we gonna? I'm telling you, open ourselves up to scorpions while we sleep. I don't know, but that shit. I don't know. I have to look into it more. Yeah. But also, there's nothing for you to do. So once it's dark. You just go to sleep, and it can be dark at fucking six thirty or some shit like that. Yeah. Then you're gonna wake up with the sun. It's just yeah. Imagine and that. you find shit to do. Yeah, be safe. talk be story. Safe. Oh, you'll be safe. You'll be safe. Wake up. Sit with around the sun. a fire. Listen to fucking yeah. Huberman over here waking up with the sun. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> yeah. Come on. He's living a good life. Bro. <laughs> I'm just saying we gotta do these adventures. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much. We'll see you soon. Peace.